assembled, that is what UFC 300 is going to be. Are you kidding me with these prelims? You know it's going to be all action. Any fight on the prelims of this card could be a main event. The best fight card ever assembled. People are never going to forget. Live on UFC Fight Pass. It got so quiet. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Welcome to another Friday. Where today we're going to be watching old school fights. Old school fights. Beating Ivan. How you doing? UFC Fight Pass. YouTube. And of course, Twitch. Twitch. You know what I mean? How's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right? WTF Joe Rogan. Huh? What happened to Joe? What Joe do this time? Uh, but, so today we're going to be doing, we're going to watch some fights of UFC Fight Pass said, you know what? Fight Pass says, let's watch, let's do something different. What? It's obvious we have something big coming up, right? We're, it's getting pretty close. It's a rarity. And no, it's not the Eclipse. It's the 300. I had to throw that in there. <laughs> UFC 300 is just around the corner. Just around the corner. And that's a big deal. Now, Saturday's fights, we'll still do, we're still going to have a watch on for Saturday. But, I think we're just, we're too pumped up. We're too pumped up. UFC 300 is just around the corner. So we're going to watch some UFC 100. And we're going to watch some UFC 200. I didn't miss weight today. Hey, what? I heard there was some, I heard there was some, but not much. You know what I mean? Legendary, legendary. You know what I mean? So that's what I think. That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna do this. And I have a fight list. So thank you very much. Fight Pass put together a list of fights of fighters who fought in the one hundred and the two hundred. So that's what we're gonna do. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Let's communicate for a minute, shall we? Also, pretty thin card besides the main event watch along well very yeah you know maybe yeah well mm, you never know you know i think this is one of those situations where everybody's so ready for 300 that you know how it is when it gets when you get closer i don't think it doesn't really matter who you had fighting next everybody sees so hot for 300 everybody <laughs> canadian huh <laughs> right right but I'm just saying, so everybody's so fired up that it's almost like from now on, you have to have like the week leading up. Then you have to have the week of 300 or well, 400 when it comes. And then the week after we need to have a breather. We got to have a week after, you know what I mean? You got to have that. You got to have that break. You know what I'm saying? Yo, James, be real. Why are they covering? I have, don't even know. Why are they what? Cub, covering Weidman and defending is who's defending the eye pokes. I'm not even paying attention. Has anybody else seen that? You know what I mean? Beating. How are we? Are we, are we defending? Who's defending the eye pokes? How do you defend eye pokes? I don't get it. Huh? The media? Oh, I must. I'm going to have to start paying attention to the media then. I guess a little bit, you know? I'm going to have to uh, see, right? April 8th to April 6th, 2024. Fight night is like being the bridesmaid. Nobody is <laughs> Bripen. Bripen. <laughs> uh, I've never seen anybody. Def I haven't seen no defending. No, I'm just saying, I don't think anybody's. That, see, I must have missed it. I haven't seen any eye poking. I haven't seen any eye poking defense. Like, how can you defend the eye poke? All you got to do is watch the replay. In fact, I mean, I think it was the opposite. What I don't understand, you know what I mean, is, is just, in fact, hold on. They actually came back, and what did they do with the fight? Did they, did, did they change the result? Or did they not change the result? Am I just, am I thinking of things? Am I making things up? Right? But I'm not, I don't know if I'm seeing anybody really defending it. Weidman is the only one defending it. Well, yes, he needs to be. They went to a, they went to a decision. 
Okay, that's what I think it ended up being a decision instead of the KO. Okay, okay. Now, oh, I lost my bet because, okay, well, now see, now that part, here's the thing. I, I think what up, Salty Snacks? The only thing I've seen people saying Silva shouldn't have flopped 100% like he was hurt from a strike. That probably would have been, you know, all right, we're going to, let's, we're going to talk about this. Let, let's wrap about this for a minute. What do you do? In a moment like that. Yo, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai! Let's go. How are we doing today, gents? Much love and appreciation. All subs go to support the UFC's Twitch stream. The UFC fam... Well, I haven't said that. The Twitch family, it's not working. I had it. Sue had a good one, then I, I dropped the ball. All subs go support the, the Twitch family. I think that works. Unless Snoo needs some new slippers or something, then we're working on it. All right, but so now, but I like that. So Silver shouldn't have flopped, and that's 100%. What are we getting Snoo this week? Oh, man, you got to let me think. You got to let me, I, I was, I kind of was on the spot. I'm not ready. What are we getting Snoo this week, chats? Huh? Try to get a tear out of your eye and keep defending. Well, that, okay, so there it is, Salty. So that would be the thing, right? You got to throw a fit. That was a lot of pokes. And then it, the, what I don't understand is when it went to the cat, when you watch it, I don't know, anybody that watched the replay, right, YouTube, anybody that watched the replay, it was obvious. He, he threw a one, he threw a one, two, poke, poke. I mean, it's poke, poke. I don't, I, I just, like, I'd be so mad at that point, like, I'd be throwing a fit, but I don't know if I would be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'd be, I don't, he shouldn't have flopped down and just, and laid there and, and had him, let him stop the fight. But at the same token, I don't, I mean, he literally threw a one, two, I pull combo a hundred percent. I know he did. And it, it, it's, that is, I just don't, how, I mean, how do you handle that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you handle it, to be honest. I can't, I definitely think falling on the floor and just taking a TKO was not the right thing. Obviously, you need to go back and like you have to be able to say something like it needs to go back to the cameras, which I don't understand is why didn't the camera, why didn't the commission just look at the camera? Why didn't they just take the time out and go to the review booth and just look at it? I don't understand why you have to wait till later and after and do all that. You could have literally, we all watched the replay and we seen it. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the referee. Things are moving too fast. But isn't that why we have the replay cam? And it, I mean, isn't that what it's for? Like the replay cam. They could, they, it was, you could look right at it. You know what I mean? You could look right at it. Eye pokes need to be an automatic DQ. I, well, that's the other thing. I think, well, that'd be another thing. Like, how do you do that? You know what I'm saying? Yo, what, King Carrot? How do you, I, like, we obviously have to really up the punishment on the eye pokes. I mean, I think we have to. You know what I'm saying? I think I think you just you have to. You gotta you gotta be you just. Oh, that one was insane though. That was a lot of them. There was a lot of pokes. You know, I don't know. But it just. I don't know what they I don't know what they can do but I mean again it's got to come back to the fighter has to be really worried about where their fingers are. You know what I'm saying? They really have to worry about where their hands are. And the only way that you can do that is what? Same reason why when we throw a kick we know to apologize. Whoa, whoa, my bad, my bad. You know what I mean? Bad things happen. People need to be yeah, there shouldn't be any warnings. You should it should be a hammer. Like it should be a big, it should be a big fine. Like you should be paying attention to where you're you know I mean, you should be paying attention. This has become bigger than than groin shots, than anything like that. Like this is massive. You people need to understand it, this is you should like it should be on your mind. Literally on your mind every second of every moment in that fight. You should be training for it. Man, you poke that dude's eye and they go back and watch that on video, you're DQ'd. Done. Period. Doesn't matter how bad they hurt. Doesn't matter how bad he's hurt. You poke that eye. Like, make it so severe that people just freak out. <laughs> and I don't want to hear about the gloves and all that stuff, but I'm just saying, man, I don't even know 5K. Maybe even more than that. Like, literally. Maybe it should be even more than that, you know? I, but, but again, one point, I don't know. 
I mean, but I would definitely, you got you to gotta hit them in the pocket. My point is, is this would make you, you'd start training this way. You would start paying attention. So it's in your head every day. Keep those hands. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. You have your coaches. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. So it should be something you should be dealing with every single day. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. You know what I mean? And it should be in your, it should be, it should just be in there where you're literally screaming apologies. Don't ban me. Don't ban me. Don't, you know what I mean? Don't, 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 don't suspend me. Don't suspend me. Don't DQ me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I would hit him with at least, you know what I mean? I would, I would hit him with, um, I would hit him with, with a big fine, like make it a huge fine, a big one. Cause it's just getting crazy. Especially one, two, three eye pokes, man. And, and don't get me wrong. I understand, man, things happen, but you better learn how to, because then you have people that when you get punched in the eye, they start yelling eye pokes too. But again, that's why you have the camera. So if you go back and you watch it, I mean, yeah, it's, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's really becoming an issue. You know what I mean? All I know is, like I said, and it, I sit back and I almost have to laugh. I wish Silva wouldn't have just fell to the floor like that though. I get it. He was pissed. What up, Posh? How you doing? How you doing? Google, Google. How you doing? DQ for anything touching the eyeball. Or at least a hefty, hefty fine. Like a horrible fine. I mean, you know about biting. Don't get me wrong, but you should just learn how to keep those hands coiled. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't think I... Here's what, No, monkey. Look, monkey C. People don't... I don't think people eye poke on purpose. Here's what's happening, in my opinion. This is what's happening. You don't want to sit like this and just clench your fists so you're just, because that's just going to wear you out, right? So when you're trying, you're playing and you're trying to, you, you tend to try to catch and grab things and catch and grab, catch, you know what I mean? So you just, you, this is how you're light. And some people, and then boom. And then when you start reaching for things like, ah, ah, like that, they could be moving forward. You could be right, like you, you up and you get caught off guard. And you do this. What you need to learn is you just have to start learning how to curl those fingers, curling them. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. You just have to start. It has to be something that you train. Now, I do understand what they say when it comes to the glove. The glove is the problem. So what they're saying with the glove, hopefully I got this right. This is why I got you, chat. You let me know. But the way when you pull on that glove, right, when you put that glove on, watch my hand. When I put it on, look at what it does to my fingers. It almost pulls the way that it fits your hand and goes over the tape. It almost pulls your fingers open. So it's hard to even try to clinch it. Thus, we try to read it up. Well, now they want to try to give you a glove where when you put it all the way on, it almost makes your hand want to curl downward. But see where I argue that is the pride glove was massive. That damn thing went like this and straight down to right here. And I still almost lost. I almost lost my entire eye. I almost lost the problem. Damn near lost my vision from an eye poke. So I'm not, I don't really want to hear the glove because it's got, I, yeah, it's like the pride glove, but it was the pride glove that almost took my eyeball, period. So I'm not, I'm not trying to hear that. What it has to be, it has to be something that you start training with. Just like what do we do every single time, every day we're training. We just know, don't kick the balls, don't kick the crotch. Train where you don't kick the crotch. Don't even go near the crotch. Kick away from it. Now, if they happen to hop into it, such is life, but we train it. Do we train that with our fingers? Is anybody yelling, fingers, fingers, fingers? Watch out for those fingers. Fingers, fingers. You know about those fingers? Keep an eye on your fingers. Did you keep an eye on your fingers? Because your fingers shouldn't be doing anything. You should be hearing so much about fingers that it's on your mind at all times. Fingers, you should be able to train it. It has to be in your, it has to be moved, put into here. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're going to get a big, hefty, hefty fine. I don't know. You know what I mean? Oh, and then, then we go, now we can talk about the crotch kick. That was two. I got kicked once, and what happened was it moved my cup. Then you can watch me. I'm trying to adjust, adjust, and then I popped up. And now we go, and then all of a sudden, I moved, it, it, then he kicked me right up the middle. Boom! And it squished my right nugget. And like I said, the, the, I've never felt like my hip was on fire. My hip was on fire. That's, I got hit so hard in the right testy that it made my right hip flare up. I thought it caught on fire. It was horrible. It was the weirdest thing I ever experienced. Anyways. All right, so now...
Let's watch some UFC 100 and UFC 200. Getting back to the what's coming around the corner, 300. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Fingers and testes. That was a hell of a conversation. Fingers and testes. It's how you got to do it. You know what I mean? YouTube. UFC Five Pass YouTube. Love and appreciate it. How's everybody doing? Speaking of fingers. I don't even want to show the first fight. Here it comes. Fight number one. In the octagon. But despite this success, he decided he would be even better at 205 pounds. And a win over Christian Welich got him off to a good start at light heavyweight. And he hopes he will continue his success tonight against John Jones. You know, Jones is going to come out confident, you know, kind of cocky like he does, you know, f- doing his flashy stuff. First time I get in his face and hit him and put him on his back. You know, he's Exploring you know, he's the car with the rock. just 21 years what old, up, man? New Yorker John Jones is the How most you talked How you doing? rookie Exploring. to hit the UFC in years. Thanks to a dynamic style that features devastating throws and unique striking attacks that have left the opponent. Well, because battle. somebody no, uh, because somebody already said something Stephen about Bonner this. That's why I was like, speaking of fingers, Jones, y'all get mad about the eye poke. Even higher. Somebody mentioned Jake it in the chat. That's why. <laughs> I love bones. I'm not even. I'm not even. What up, snooze? And uh, if I see an opening, I'm going to pull the trigger and go for it. Coming up next, Irish Jake O'Brien squares off against Johnny Bones Jones. UFC 100. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. The 24-year-old against the 21-year-old and a huge reach advantage of eight inches for John Jones. With the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting 21-year-old Bones. Isn't that crazy? He's a wrestler holding a professional record of 11 inches. Oh, years I love it, Bones, though. Losses. Love it, Bones. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, Irish Jake O'Brien. This Johnny Bones kid looks like he might be something. You know what I mean? He might be corner. something. A mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record of eight wins with no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Endicott, New York, Johnny Bones Jones. Are we watching prelims and early and prelims? You know, BD, I'm going to be here. What are you talking about? Is Eve Loving. Eve Levine, our referee. Tomorrow, I'll be a here from the first fight to the last the fight. Logan. Doing the watch on with all of you. Tree Hunter, you know, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be right there, too. Jones and you O'Brien. Ready, you ready? Fight! And here we go. Going to be tough to throw Jake O'Brien around as strong as Johnny Jones is. And again. Again, very comfortable and very methodical with his boxing Ooh. skills is Irish Jake O'Brien. Head kick attempt by John Jones. Jones with a huge reach advantage, Joe. And this is what O'Brien wants. He wants to close the distance. He wants to dirty box a little bit. Right now, very elusive is John Jones, though. Yes, I was warming up. I was warming Stay up. Stay inside. I still have a... Like from from getting kicked on a pro Thai fight in Thailand in 2001. <laughs> I'm telling you, <coughs> right? By O'Brien. But it was Dunder one of the most memorable the right. pain. Sometimes brings. Hey, I'm telling you what. I t- I got kicked so hard by Arthur Mariano. I've been. I was hopping really afterwards. It was horrifying. At distance at least until he can get inside but I'll forever jab. remember it. Throwing the big hook. Telegraph that. Even I saw that one coming. <laughs> Are we watching prelims and early prelims? No, beating. I've got a list. Shots, Fight Pass made a list of 100 and 200 yeah, fights like to watch. Obviously his game plan, Joe. Again, Yo, what up, great Min Jitsu Haydu? So I, I have a list. The important thing is that what we've seen from O'Brien is that he's a solid wrestler. He's got good boxing. And what we've seen from Jones what? is that he's got great You heard wrestling. Jamal Hill he got injured down, and he's out. But a guy right. like... O'Brien is very different from the guys that he's fought before. O'Brien is a much better wrestler than Stefan Bonner or Andre Guzmao. So we're going to get to see a different look. Much bigger, too. You see my two would go better than... Good left hook. 
The aggressor thus far is Jake O'Brien. And what we're going to see also is whether or not Bones gets frustrated when things aren't going his way immediately. Oh, nicely done. Nice head kick up there. Ducked under and brought it up. Set it up with a couple of inside leg kicks, Joe. Gentlemen, RC, oh, what first slap. UFC event I ever watched well, started training the same. Joe, oh, a year. I haven't made love a dick again. Love it. Begin here with this one. Sick. Sick. No exploring. I don't know if that's true or not. That okay, it's not true. He's not injured. He can keep pretty much anybody at bay. Good shots there by O'Brien, Mike. Somebody's nice just asking punches. that question. O'Brien is the one taking the center of the octagon. And again, when he really turns and Bring extends back that the Mohawk, jab, yeah. John Jones is even longer than he is already. I mean, he has an eight-inch reach advantage. 6'4", 205. Oh. Adam, don't meet. How you doing, Adam? What's up? What's up? Two minutes remains in round one. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Oh, that hook got through. O'Brien is pressing Yo, forward, Cole, Pat, and it looks like what he's trying to do is counter. He's waiting for Jones to make moves, and then he's trying to Going counter. Up Jack News, Jones Jack News. A high kick there. You know, O'Brien really does have the attributes, the potential at 24 years old. Two young fighters, Joe, that could have a very long and prosperous future in the UFC. Yeah, especially now that jo that O'Brien is down at 205, Absolutely. Which is where I think he belongs. Yo, what up, Shane? How you doing, much support? Yeah, I love watching you get done. Hey, thank you very much. I nice appreciate it. I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, UFC mod too. Oh wait, I can't even tell him that. I want to ask, but I'll be quiet. Good footwork also by Jones. Like how he snaps that jab out there, Joe. Very light on his feet, as you mentioned. A little shuffle. 35 seconds remains. Nothing, in the nothing, round. nothing. I'm good. He's found a home for that inside leg kick over and over. He's landed that on Jake O'Brien. This is like watching remember, what? Watching a mongoose and a snake one so false move. It's over. It. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like that. I like that. It up. You can see the inside of the left leg very red, bruised and battered already from those inside leg kicks from John Jones. And again. Oi! Try to jumping switch kick right there. Good first round nonetheless for Jake O'Brien. Jake O'Brien pretty aggressive here, but the story of the fight as far as damage was really no, the, I have the to kicks wait. of John Jones. John Jones landed quite a few inside leg so kicks, dumb. a few good ones to the body, and some head kicks that were blocked as well. That that seemed to me to do the most damage in the fight. But Jake O'Brien constantly pressing forward and had some good boxing moments. Just keep working that jab. That was perfect. Don't step back straight. That's the only time you got to. Is you step back. Are those straight. the Silver Star shirts? You remember you those? That real push when he throws one, <laughs> he two what? Throw that real push He's already closed the distance. You got walk and run all day long, Johnny. Sit there. That's one round. You won that round. Win this next round now. Don't let him pause. Just keep the pace up. Stay nice yeah. and relaxed. Stay nice and relaxed. Okay, right? guys. Take it down. Go, Jake. Come on. Pick it up. Set for round two. Thank you. Do they what? Are they? Are they? The beautiful Dana, Larry Arnie. Energy, oh. Yeah, Molinowski. Four fighters Let's see if missed Jones weight. Tries to turn up the pace a little bit here in the second five minutes. How many white fights did Bones have O'Brien. before this fight? And the white trunks for Jones. Jumping kick attack by Mr. Jones and another head kick attempt. How many did he have? Two? He'd worked the inside of the left leg, the lead leg. One? Throughout the majority of round number one. Do you remember Warrior Wear? I do remember Warrior Wear, yes. And then Sinister. Man, I loved Sinister, yeah. Confidence. Oh. One thing different in this fight, 
I mean, even though he's throwing all these wild kicks and punches, we haven't seen any of the wild throws and takedown attempts. Hey, Amberly Rose, how do I do? And I still remember the really tap out, man. I missed trademark. that. I had the Tyson well, punch out shirt. Joe, oh, Irish Jake that was Ryan, sick. An outstanding wrestler, 152 and 9, 44 and 0 as a senior. And maybe Jones knew that he wasn't going to be able to throw Jake O'Brien around like he had done against Stefan Bonner and Andre Guzman. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even seem like he's thinking about it. Did he fight Matt Hamill? Superman punch. Yeah, I got to look. I don't know. Mod 2 no better than me. I, I'll Jake Google. Oh, well, I'm not Google. So Somebody Google. I don't remember him throwing any kicks in the first round. We need some what? Little evil wear? And yeah. He's just huh? leaning in and punching. Now, when, when you're just punching, the problem is I'll the distance is different. And... The distance that John Jones is using is already amplified by the fact that he's a taller guy. And then on top of that, he's throwing kicks. So he's going to be two fights before this DZ. Love and appreciation. And Thank you. Doing, okay. You know, what, what two he's fights. Been doing for awesome. The most damage awesome. So far, it's been his kicks. So yes, he had two fights before this. So O'Brien's got to do something to switch it up. So no I'm question. Saying. Both men very content. We're going to move around this though. On the feet for the majority of the time too. Lead left hook. I think we've seen so many times in the octagon, whenever one what, guy little evil is, is going to bring back the affliction, striking attack, like just using punches, and the other guy mixes Ooh. it up with kicks as Ooh. well. The other guy's just got a giant advantage, especially as far as you know him being able to dictate the distance. And Jones early. Oh, oh, he, oh. Clipped, he tried that spinning elbow and he clipped the top of the head of Jake O'Brien. Especially as far as you know him being able to dictate the distance. And Jones early. Oh, that was perfect. He went down like he was going to shoot a low single. Boom. Just grazed it. Ah. He clipped the top of the head of Jake O'Brien. O'Brien's back up. And again, that's exactly what I was about to say, Joe. He's got his attention with so many oh. different strikes. And now leg back, leg back, leg back. Might want to get off the feet for a little while. O'Brien might be resting here, but this is what like, John Jones in his fight Jones. reminds of someone playing the UFC games, but doesn't quite know the controls. It's just mash the buttons. He's a very strong <laughs> grappler. He's got a hold of Jake O'Brien's neck here. Just mash the buttons. It looks like he's got it very deep, Mike. I can't see it from this angle. Oh! Looking to finish it. What? Very deep, Mike. I can't see it from this angle. Looking to finish it. He put him out. Over. He put him out. Wow. John Jones. Wow. Has choked out Jake O'Brien. Wow. Well, it all started to go downhill quickly. For there you go, Limbo. Limbo, how you do? Yeah, he clipped him hard with that, but uh, the, the choke that he hit him with we'll it was miss. really Wait tough for to tomorrow. tell because we couldn't see it from this angle. A couple. Here's that spinning elbow we talked about. Yeah, let's take a look at that again. He that. fakes a, a, a takedown and hits him with this. Bang, oh, right that was just a tricep. That, that was sick. That was sick. Then Jones Down jumps low. all over him. And now we can tell it here. We can see it better here from the overhead shot. Look at Bones. He's he staying out in front. I love it. In. He's got a guillotine. And then he, he tucks it in deeper. It's like a no-arm Darce choke. He goes under and then grabs a hold of it with his bicep. The guy just and locked up. What do they end up calling us now? The nin, did they call it the ninja choke or something? Because he's covering Come underneath the, the and Come back this way. You can't really see it, but O'Brien taps and then he goes out. See, he goes. He just literally did that. It was basically a, a no arm guillotine. Excuse me, a no arm Dars choke. No arm Dars choke. Jones, three and on the UFC. Yeah, ninja now choke, right? Okay. Career. Here's the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Johnny Ooh, Bones. Oh. The Bones. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. All right. Let me see. Look what we got next. Let's go, Coleman. I'm going to get I'm going to do about three or four in a row here. Bam. All right. This could cause all kinds of problems. Hopefully not too crazy. Look at this. Let's go. Is Hendo versus Bisping on my list? And Godfather of I think he might be. I think he might be. Energized and it's not felt this good in forever. So will it be enough? Y'all don't know nothing about this old school music.
One half of what many consider to be the greatest UFC fight of all time with Boris Griffin, Stefan Bonner will always hold a place in the hearts of fans. But rest, that's not enough rest. for the Las Vegan, who is not only chasing after him. a world title, but is also looking to add the name of Hall of Famer Mark Coleman to his list of victims. Fighting in UFC 100, fighting Isn't a legend, weird? Hall of Famer, those are all great, but the bottom line is I got to win. That's all that matters. Coleman's going to present the, the BMF. Is he going to? I don't know Brown, if he's still. It, I know UFC they were talking about champion, it, right? And Mark Coleman may have been one of the pioneers of the sport back in the 90s, but he's also more than relevant in today's game, as evidenced oh. by his spirited effort against Mauricio Shogun Hua back in January. Tonight, he plans on letting Stefan Bonner know that there's still a lot of power left in the hammer. This is the biggest fight of my life by far. I'm capable of doing it. I hit very hard. I land a couple blows. He's going to go down, and I will finish him off. Coming up next, Stefan, the American Psycho Bonner, faces Mark. Rest the in Hammer peace, Coleman. right? Rest in peace, Stefan. It's weird. It's it's it's, it's cool. And we get to watch. I mean. We got to watch the walkout. The American psycho Stefan Bonner. Stefan Bonner, of course, coming off of the disappointing loss to John Jones. Oh, really so wants got, to get back okay. on track tonight. And in facing the legend, the godfather <laughs> of ground and pound, Mark Coleman, this is uh, an excellent opportunity for a big win for Bonner. And you know, Joe, Stephen Bonner talked about the fact that when you know when he was first breaking into the sport, Mark Coleman looks exactly the same Coleman, scale, pretty much, doesn't it? His elder, has a ton of respect for the hammer, knows that the hammer is coming in in the best shape he's been in in a long time. And ironically, Bonner after the show, the ultimate fighter trained at Extreme Couture for a while. What's that, Coleman? Coleman Bonner had, it was a dream fight for the hardcore. It's crazy. That is on the prelims. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. That just goes to show you the 100, the 200, the 300, like just the cards themselves, fight. right? Just being on it. I don't care shape. which one I'm on. Bossy, how you doing? Absolutely shredded. He is a black belt Brazilian jiu jitsu fighter. He's got great stand up. He's got a tremendous Majority. amount of experience. Majority. Look at that. Golden Glove boxer. Not as much experience as Mark the Hammer Coleman. What's that? Aiden, this is probably the best era of the UFC. I'm not going to argue. It was a fun one. It was a fun one. After reconstructive knee surgery prior to the John Jones fight. So perhaps he was not yet 100% physically and maybe there so mentally as he took on the young and talented 21-year-old. But he definitely feels like he's back and ready to do. All right, now we get Coleman back. The hammer. He don't get his Mark walkout. Coleman. Tail of the tape for this 44 years old, though. Dang, he was still. Let me move out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. I got to worry about the fight clock in a minute. Look at him. All right, Cole, man. Fight heavyweight fight. 44 year old Mark Cole. Yo, flying. How you do? Flying. You good? You good? Bonner, three inches taller, and will have a five inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran 44. Yo, Samich, how you living? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins with five losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the American Psycho. I like that, Joe. Stephon I'm with that, Joe. Butter. You know, I think one of the things after they do this intro, these guys, they seem tougher, but with less technique than today's fighters. You know what it is. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Columbus, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, the UFC. Look at Phil Baroni back there. begins our referee in charge of the octagon herbert is herb 
team. I think the biggest thing is, for me, again, it's just the fact that there's so many. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. That definitely helps with fluidity and things like that and just being a different kind of fighter. There's so many fights now. Logan Ariani here tonight watching the Hall of Famer take on the American Psycho. Bonner comes out southpaw. I don't remember, but look at all the ketchup all over the canvas already. Huh? Let me move this camera real quick. And Bonner comes out quickly. Stephen Bonner for Forrest Griffin, that legendary fight. One of the very main reasons, Joe, why we're here tonight with all this enthusiasm and fanfare. Coleman versus Culture is the oldest Old fight of all warrior, time, combined age of 94. Champion, <laughs> Mark no Coleman. doubt, yeah. And one, one important thing, Mike, uh, Stefan Bonner is uh, a very underrated striker. And he's also a black belt in Taekwondo. And what he's doing here right now, he's got this big wide, we got a full schedule Machina next week for, for this that we haven't too. seen from him in a while. And he's on his back. You know, I was just going to say, Joe, that type of stance, not standing right in front of your opponent, could have presented, could have prevented a takedown, but Coleman got one leg, spun around, got the under, and he is on top position. And oh, are we trying to go, Stephen go? Stephen Bonner is working for an Oma Plata. Oma Plata, He's okay. He's locked up. Mark Coleman could be in a bit of trouble here. Bonner trained for years with the late, great Carlson Gracie in Chicago and you see what with Stefan Bonner's toes here is he's actually kind of holding hey, on the fence hey get your toes out of the boy we are zoomed right in on to those toes aren't we we just stand right see, at him see how he's doing that I mean that's kind of holding the fence which is kind of illegal maybe that's why that's why Mark we get team kind of trying to pull his get foot some, off yeah, I mean, a I toe know get those toes done you know that's what I'm saying get those like toes did with your fingers Coleman's shoulder is in is in trouble here, and he might turn this into a figure four toe hold if he can grab a hold of it. This is how Frank Mir submitted Tank Abbott. Same position. Coleman's Coleman like, you give me some knees right now. We Coleman's got problems. To roll over, but in doing problems. so, he's exposing his leg. There you go. The Big shot, dude. One shot, he Bonner's let go. <laughs> he's letting go of the arm, rather. Well, Joe, okay, now oh, Coleman's on top. Coleman pounded the rib for a second. Exactly, right? When do you ever see a light heavyweight go for a plot well, that was sick and it was quick? Coleman is a very strong guy, and having Coleman on top of you is not a good thing. Very strong, excellent control, great base. Coleman's wish he had knees Especially right now. This, this is his move, north-south, north, knees to the head. Ooh. You know, you talk about Frank Mir, Mark Coleman in preparation for this fight. Spent some time training with Frank Well, no, Mir. what isn't even so much that, Joe, is the fact that, but you got to remember, we got to fight, like, even at the best in the beginning, maybe twice a year if you were lucky in the UFC. There was so little, you know what I mean? They only did like six, seven, because it was only legal in three states, stuff like that, so the activity level. You can have three, four, five fights in one year now. You get to be busy. You get to stay in camp. You get to just rotate and get ready to go again. And that just helps you. Like, you're not you're not having these big, long layoffs in between fights and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That's one of the biggest things I think the fighters today has. Somebody's always fighting. You're building. And you're always, you know what I mean? You get to go right back in there and stay sharp. Stay in there. You don't get that, quote, unquote, ring rust as, at, you know, at that level. Under two minutes remains in round one. Coleman can't keep eating these elbows. Bonner doing a great... I mean, I can't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine. You could fight like once a month, twice. It'd be awesome. I mean, we and still did it, but... to throw the elbows. And Coleman is cut. Right around the right eye. Coleman driving, trying he's to pull trying that to drive leg in. Out. Bonner's doing a good job. You're gonna hit that switch. Yeah, it's well, he's got the cut. leg, so he can't switch it's around. Tough but to see here. Yo, what up, Casey? How you do? How you do? Yes, I am. I am. Just over a minute remains in round one. Yeah, right. Could you imagine? And then and what I'm saying again. is, you're coming right off that. You're taking a little break, out, and then boom, you're right over, back into the camp and working and working and working and working on what you already have to work on. You know, what you did right, did wrong, all that. You know what I mean? Stephen Bonner as well. Coleman's stuck down there. He lost to Forrest Griffin at UFC 62, put together a couple of victories. Then, as I mentioned, had that reconstructive knee surgery. What? The fights with prior who? Prior to being defeated by young John Jones. Coleman, again, is, won't let go of those legs. He's driving forward, trying to get Stephen Kevin Holland Bonner five times, back. right? Yeah. But Bonner is just using excellent control here. Doing a good job of triangling the left arm of Coleman. Coleman's got to try it. Look, he's keeping it out of there. also a good job of... 
controlling that right arm. Getting those, those elbows. elbows. from the top. You know, Joe, you often wonder how just that, that small little split decision, just one judge's mind changed the course of the fighting life of Stefan Bonner and Forrest Griffin. Oh. Bonner going for a Kimura. Let's get that Mora. Did a great job of controlling the hammer in round one, and you can see the disappointment on Mark Bowman's face. A lot of elbows. And here you see the elbows from the top. This is what did the damage. I mean, as much fun as these Mark are, really I always, like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark those look 12-6. Really didn't defend them, nor, nor could he. Those look 12-6. But go because you moved to a 9-3, it's okay. Get a little water it's okay you. to do. Anytime he gets those positions on you, be patient with him and just think ahead of him. It's Sean easy. Tompkins. You Ooh, get Sean Tom. Him, square up. And wow. see, this you is why this job. is tough. You're smart. You got the takedown. You controlled him. You kill him with the with the crucifix. Just you have to circle Vince. for the fence. The fence don't let him sprawl. The fence don't let him sprawl. You see when they put the palm hand on the ground, he's not gonna take you down. Okay. Three deep breaths. Bonner did a great job of holding position. The American psycho, Stefan Bonner. Knees and headbutts. Former Adam, training knees and headbutts. Of Andre Arlovsky during their time in Chicago. That's what I heard. Is Mark Coleman giving the BMF? Bonner I don't know. Like, it was brought Coleman. up, though, right? Set I heard the same two. thing, but I don't know. If it, is it official? And quickly coming out again is Bonner. This time, traditional stance, Joe. He came out southpaw at the beginning of the fight. Fight past YouTube. Fight past YouTube. Ooh. Ooh, that left, that though. Bonner isn't yeah, any Mark is? Kicks. Okay. That's probably because he's worried about getting taken down. But that's one thing that Mark Coleman has shown a, a, a little bit of a weakness in that area. Ooh. Got to fire that right a little harder. Coleman. Oh, good left caught. hand. Coleman. Oh, good got left caught. hand. Good left hand by too. Bonner. I didn't see it. Yeah, Coleman got rocked a moment ago, and now he's looking to take this fight yeah, down. He just ducked down right there for that takedown, which is a little uncharacteristic of him. Oh, well, we saw I like when he pulls out and tries to throw that hook. That even though he was extremely off. gassed, Coleman hung in there and showed great heart. There we go. Nip, 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 nip. Through that spinning back fist. That's what I'm curious about, right? The Hun 420. Where did all that ketchup come from? Look at all that redness on that canvas already. Bonner got a little fancy that went for the spinning kick. Oh, well, we got now. Oh, look at this. Well, now we're going to add more to it. opened up Stephen Bonner. And let me tell you something. Mark Coleman on top. This is, this bring back memories for him, I'm sure. And again with the short elbow. He loves this position on top dropping elbow sitting on one leg let him sit on one leg spin that oh, by spin that by what up raven how you doing spin that leg by climb up on the body and let that right hand go get him get him all it took Ooh, was hammer nice fist. Oh. Coleman. Oh. Coleman continuing to pound away from the hammer house and good shots from the bottom by bonner Bonner, no. Oh, nice elbows. elbows from the bottom. Three minutes yeah, remains Brad in round is. two. Bonner staying active from his back. Those were good short Look at that. Ooh, from the man. By oh, that Bonner. right the right above the right eye. A That's a lot of catch-up. So big, so a powerful. lot of catch-up. Mark Coleman said he's felt better than he has in about a decade. What up, Galaxy? Galaxy? Bonner looking for an Oma Plata again. He's looking for the go-go Plata. Oh no, he's he's Omo in it. His, no. He's trying it again. His left leg is being controlled right now by Coleman, though. It's blocked. If he can Ooh. get that leg out and turn his body to the side, he's let it go. Oh, nice at the elbow right there. Push off elbows by yep. Bonner. Well, Bonner has spent time in the past training with both. Duke Rufus and Mark Delagrati. Bonner looking to scramble to his feet, but Coleman staying on top of him. And that's a big move that we've seen from Kenny Florian a ton, Joe, is pushing off and throwing those elbows from the body. Boom. Boom. Coleman looking to impose his will on the American psycho. What? Under two Durang, minutes remains uh, in round two. They didn't, 
Bonner looking to sit out, but Cole's got a hold of his leg. But it's going to be real difficult for him to pull this off. You're out your mind. It was a new canvas every time. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's a new canvas every time. They didn't clean it. They brought it in from the Very the show here. the show before. Coleman, the 2000 Open Weight Grand Prix champion in pride. He's got to get that left leg free to lock it up in the triangle position on the Omoplata. He's got that. He's I say this after every stream I catch, but, but thank you for doing these streams. Much love, free. Sandwich. National Much love. Champion at Ohio State. And the first ever UFC heavyweight champion. There he is. Can you get that front headlock? Looks up right now. 105 remains in round now, two. Now, right here, I guarantee you, Coleman wishes he was having some pride rules so he could drop some knees from the north-south position. He's on top on the back of Stefan Bonner. Coleman so big and powerful. That Aiden Laura from Jim Miller's Coleman, fight before, maybe. Ground and pound. Bonner using the jailbreak to get that foot oh, in there. Oh, the there's that elbow. Fighter, the original cage Cole, fighter. Cole's got to be careful that left arm. Bonner looking to control that left arm. He may be looking for an arm bar. Bonner continuing to work from the bottom. Bonner, such an integral part of the history that we are celebrating arm tonight. Bar. Here arm at arm. UFC 100. 20 seconds remains in round two. Bonner keeps rolling for the armbar, and I, uh, what I suspect he's going to try to do is try to roll for the armbar on one side and then a triangle on the other. Joe, 10 seconds left in the second round. Man, Mark Holman is... He's Mark in there. Holman has landed some good shots here. All right, all right. We head to the third and final round. Great second round for the Hammer. No, go for spinning. Sit down. What? I had no plan on watching we'll fighting, but your thumbnail spin. pulled me in. There you go, Joe. Hey, I love it. I love it. Good. Good. Fight past YouTube. Yeah. So be disciplined. Move on him for a while. And start setting him up again, okay? Oh, he can't get that to stop. Here we see the ground and pound that caused the cut on Stefan Bonner. Again, this is the man that invented ground and pound. Big what up? The person the that gives the BMF belt the usually the, the fighter who wins the BMF belt. So does that mean Justin Gaethje hands it to himself? I heard, Phineas the Tiger, that it's going to be Mark Coleman. This is your fight. Phil Baroni, Sean Tompkins, all in the corner. Yo, what up, Adimo? One, two, three. How you do? He does not look tired. You know, this is a big thing for him. Having come to Vegas, having taken the time away from his family, training hard, away from home, out of his comfort zone, and he's, it's paying off for him right now. It's really paying off for him. And as the hammer goes into battle here in the third and final round, right behind me, I see Hoist Gracie here in attendance tonight. Oi. Stefan Bonner had some good results early in that round with striking before he was taken down. Bonner got caught a little bit with that uppercut. Bonner switching stances again. Joe. Am I looking at two different chats? I, yes. Is, uh, you know, he's, he's not the prettiest YouTube. striker in the world. But let me tell you something. He gets one of those meat hooks on you. You're in big yes. trouble. He's a very powerful guy. Your Ariel Hawani will present Mark the BMF title. Those hands fall as they did right King there. Carrot. Hey. I mean, I still have visions of the Pete Williams kick on Mark Coleman. So Mark is Good confirmed to be giving Bonner. the BMF belt. I like it. Coleman I like gets it. A hold of him. I talk single. so much Bonner, that I need sci-fi. I talk so much Bonner. I need two yeah, chats two to just Coleman. to keep me, yes. just so to keep me, you know, I'm going to keep it going. Yes, very close fight. But right now, <laughs> Coleman working hard for the takedown. As long as he's got a hold of Bonner, Bonner is in, is in a little bit of trouble. Brings back memories of watching replays on Spike TV before pay-per-views. Randy. Good knee to the body there by Stefan Bonner. Working very hard to avoid the takedown. He's got to be careful the guillotine here. Oh, go get through there. Deep. Heavy on that shoulder. Diving in there. Come on. Lift him, lift him, lift him. 44 years old. He'll be 45 in Lamoa. December. Looking for the single. Pushing Hi, sometimes forward. I'm confused because I don't see the message. <laughs> he gets him. He's got him down. He's got him pressed get, up against the cage. His condition is way better. Oh, you can't than see him. I got yeah, Rampage covered. There's Rampage. Kind of shape, he probably would have stopped Shogun in that first fight. He almost did, and he was gassed in within the first two minutes. See that? He's on top now. I heard it. In the yeah. Guard. 
Coleman's just got such good pressure from the top. It's very hard to shake off. He's in cruise control when he gets on top like this. Elbows. I mean. Inducted in his hometown of Columbus in March of 2008 into the Hall of Fame. Ooh. Chuck What's Liddell he and our late friend Charles Mask Lewis inducted into oh, the Hall rest of Fame in peace, this Charles. weekend of UFC 100. The Hammer, the fifth inductee into the UFC Hall of Fame and looking for his seventh UFC win here tonight. That was Loyola Machida that we saw Revis Stewart, wasn't that? That, that was Loyola, young Loyola Machida. I think it's three rounds. He's looking to grab three a hold rounds. of Coleman's leg, but he's unable to do anything. Coleman, Coleman. Let's go, bro. He gets on top of that tent. Don't let him move. Mark Coleman made his UFC debut, Joe. In 1996, July what? 12th, 1996. And that's when I knew I was going to be doing this. Mike, if he can keep this going for another two minutes, he's going to win this fight. Matt Page is watching the monitor and yelling One at something. One shy of 13 years ago, Coleman first entered the octagon and won the UFC 10 tournament, winning in the final match against Don Fry. And he looks in tremendous shape, Mike. He's still having a hard time. He is up kicking. He's breathing heavy. Taking some kicks here by Bonner. Bonner looking for some axe kicks from the bottom. But Coleman defending. Coleman waiting to pounce down again. And close the gap. He's in the full guard here, Stefan Bonner. I mean, that is a big Ooh, triangle. triangle on top of Stefan Bonner, Joe. Yeah, Bonner here is Yo, looking Becker, for Yo, Becker, how you doing? How you doing? Hold on, He's got to get that left leg higher and across the shoulder. Back to full guard. One minute remains in the fight. Good shots to the ribs. Short by time, Coleman. short time. Grind it out, grind Just it out. Keeping Bonner down and on his back, and now he's got him pressed up against the cage again. What Coleman looks just looks really sluggish. He looks 44 years old. Mackenzie and Morgan. Kind of. Bonner trying to wall walk. He's on the back of Stefan Bonner. But he's got to be careful Ooh. that Bonner doesn't turn it and wind up on top of he's him and his end guard. Up. Coleman looking to secure Coleman's the Coleman's got to be very careful. He's got to keep that over-under grip that he's got here. But he's got to be careful that Bonner doesn't turn into him and wind up on top. He's basically, he's on top right now. It's just his arm is the only thing that's keeping him in position. And notice how Bonner is manipulating his legs. He's trying to better the position, but only 10 seconds to go. Coleman staying on that back. He molded it. Coleman. Keep him there. I got Coleman winning this fight. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, Mark. what's going to happen right Coleman. here? And Stefan Bonner go the distance. That looks like the vision we saw after the ultimate fighter. Leo Baroni. Look how excited Phil Peroni is for his Woo. good friend Mark Coleman. Wow. wow. Outstanding. Baroni's in tears. And what a great vision, the smile on the face of the UFC Hall of Famer. Mackenzie Morgan, I did this for you. Daddy's coming home. I love you so much. Daddy's coming home, Mackenzie Morgan. You're my life, baby. Thank you. And here is the beginning of the second round. This is where Mark Coleman begins his assault. Drops some big bombs on Stefan Bonner. Big elbows. MMA Jake. The top, what up, cut Jake? Stefan huh? Bonner. And was just able to control the fight what from the top position. These, uh... Stefan Bonner wasn't able to shake him off and wasn't really able to do anything to him once Coleman got him down. For McKenzie, uh -huh. for Morgan, for UFC history. Coleman and Bonner go the distance. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the Studio, judges' scorecards go, for decision. How do you go? All three judges score this contest 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Mark the Hammer Coleman! Ooh, Mark the Hammer Coleman just did that. Just did that.
So really quick, just in case you're new, let me, let me do it one more time. It's been about uh, an hour. It's been about an hour. I'm going to repeat. Yo, Jens, love Jill. Huh? Love from Chile. Much love and appreciation, Rugo. How you doing, my friend? Yeah, I love you. All right, so what we're doing today is we, we're so ready. Obviously, we're still going to do the watch song tomorrow. I believe 2 p.m. Chicago time, right? So 2 p.m. Eastern, something like that. 2 p.m. Eastern, one of the two. I'll figure out the time, but we'll be live doing the watch song, which I love to appreciate. Hope everybody coming through and hanging out. But today, Fight Pass says, you know what? Let's watch some 100 and some 200 because we're so pumped up for 300 that we're just getting ahead of ourselves. You know what I mean? Well, we're not, we're not, I don't even get ahead of ourselves. We just can't help it. It's, it's, got, it, it's time. So 3 p.m. EST. There it is. 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow for the watch along. But, so today, though, so we're going to be watching some fights 100 and 200. Because we're already getting ready for 300. And then we're going to be doing extra next week. And stuff, I think Wednesday, undercard fights of fighters fighting. Saturday's pay-per-view fights. Friday, main card fights of fighters fighting. Saturday's pay-per-view fights. Saturday, we have a watch-along. I mean. I believe there's a... Yeah. All right. Former Ultimate Fighter winner Mac Danzig realizes the pressure to earn the victory is on tonight. Look at this. Standing Speaking of, way, this right here, Jim Miller, 100, 200, and 300. What? Work ethic that is second to none. Jim Miller has taken that blue collar attitude and turned it into UFC victories over David Barron. He has and more. Matt oh. Yet, if the New Jersey native wants to keep moving up the lightweight Jim ladder, Jim Effin Miller. Add a third win to his Isn't that what we have to call tonight. him now? Isn't that what he wants? I've trained my ass off. Um, I'm going to go out. I'm going to put my hands on Mac. I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to take him down and I'm going to sub him out. What? Rush our fight club. What's up? How you do? Much love. How you do? Are you good? And there you go. I got you. His reason for being an MMA. 18 years fireman fight. here. Love this. That's evident the moment you see him and in the And what Octagon. Coleman did was incredibly heroic. Sucks he, he couldn't opponents save his dog. I know. Never met him. Tonight, and then look how fast my man is bouncing win. back. And I'd like. You know, I mean, he's already been at the out, gym but, um, training and stuff. The power. No joke, and I'm, I'm prepared for a three-round war. Coming up next, Jim Miller battles. I can knock out you in just one round. Jerome, you gotta go knock out that 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 edumacation because your spelling is oh, the Miller boys, always a ton of fun really to watch spelling, for your, 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 your word Jim phrases Miller, are a little off, a little and off. Two in his mixed martial arts career, Jens Pulver suck. Doesn't Jens Pulver suck? Like Jens Pulver sucks. Jens Pulver sucks. Suck what? But he's Suck just what? as tough like, as his You're big not even brother. making sense. The stop. It. Miller just stop. Brothers. It. And you know what? That was you're not a real good at it. Just save, save the insults. Go, go read a book about him. You're, you're way off. Way off. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this. This is so old. Did you see, besides the, besides the brew, because he's, he's, he's celebrating, you know, did we see, did we see what's in his hand? Going for a single leg takedown in the first round and. Great yeah, that's right. He didn't reach for a cell phone. He reached for his camera. Very difficult. We living like that. That's 100. Well, got to take down and Jim Miller's face got battered in the process. You What's know, up, Mike? Into- oh, somebody that they, they always pop in. They're going to they're going to be the one to knock me out or I don't whatever. And then I suck. I don't know. Suck something. But evidently I suck. I, that's what they do. The, uh, it's no what they do. Him. That said, Jim Miller, very talented. Look at him, he's holding that camera, Brown getting the angles. Yeah. He's an excellent grappler. Oh, I love and it. I love Mac it. Danzig, so uh, it's going to be a really interesting fight. That's my job, YouTube. That's my job. Is let me, I'll get made fun of. I don't mind. It makes them feel better. I mean, that person probably feels so good now that they I said their name and they got to come into the chat and go, "You suck, Jens Pulver. You suck." I know. <laughs> Another win streak here tonight. Yo, what up, James? How you Mac doing? How you doing? Well, you know what? Both these guys would really like a win right now. Mac Danzig really with needs one. Yo, what? The cream will rise Miller to the top. I says he Whoa! It up. And then how old are we? What is this? And he is in better what is that? Is that a banner? What? 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 Christian, both physically and mentally right, than around. he's ever been in his MMA career. 
which is voluntary, of course, and, you know, there's really no comparison, but it's just interesting that that is his diet, and uh, he's got to be very careful about that kind of a diet as a professional athlete. Got to be very, very, very careful about getting the right amount of proteins and stuff, and Got to be a little bit more diligent. Than Jim, some you're a cool dude. Who, don't let people know that. Kind of Great fighter. Don't listen. Oh, I don't listen to him. Lazy, lazy T, I don't, his, I don't listen to him. Before he started Ever. fighting. Love you know why it doesn't bother me? You know why? Because I'm having way too much fun. I'm, I'm way too, with all of you that are giving me your time. Greatest gift on the planet, man. Time. Money can't buy. We always, we, we always wish we had more. And the fact you're in here hanging out with me, giving me your time. I'm not. You can't let one stain mess up the whole shirt. Damn, I just made that. Does that make sense? Maybe. That, that might be a good one. Don't let one stain here. mess up the Here's whole shirt. The no? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the uh, UFC. A lightweight division. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting. Oh, was that, that not corner. a good one? Not for your AK. I was artist, waiting for the hands in the air. Wins with two losses. No, he this, five, not this, this, this YouTube is beautiful. This chat is incredible. Pounds. Fighting out of Whippany, New Jersey. Oh, it's been a Jim minute, Lucky Luciano. Miller. Talk to Jeremy. JG knows he's my favorite fighter on the planet, but I haven't, like, talked to him, talked to him. Probably, like, in a second. A professional record of 19 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. Standing 5 feet, 8 inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Matt. Oh, Jensen. James, I know, but they got to say such things. It makes them feel, it makes them feel when good. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Mazagati. Oh, it was in the YouTube chat. No, they already, yeah, wait, how did y'all get rid of him so fast? And Danzig, the beautiful Logan Ariani, here tonight. Mandalay Bay Event Center. That's crazy. You're a gangster, AK. Right, you did that, didn't you? Here we go. AK got my back like a boss. That's why I love AK. Blue and Smith. white trunks for Danzig. Southpaw, Jim Miller, the New Jersey kid. All the casuals really like cool me know Jens is a punk. <laughs> Danzig comes out Wait, aggressively. Is that a bad thing? Like Josh the Punk Thompson? The I like the punk. Josh. Josh Thompson's to awesome. The hands up and Miller does just that. Mac Danzig's hands, especially in the Clay Guida fight, looked really excellent. It looked like his striking. Oh, looked like he got tagged there. It's looking like his striking has really come along. He's been training a lot with Sean Tompkins over at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. Oh. Nice leg kick. Well, we're not going to. We're just going to tell him that should happen. And now oh, nice takedown. And he completes it. Good combination, Joe. Boom. Nice job, Joe, 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 Joe. And he completes it. I like the combination thrown by Miller a moment ago, though. One two kick, one two. He you are though, kick, Disco. That's why you gotta, you gotta give, you gotta come over to the YouTube. Power Mac Danzig. Danzig UFC Fight Pass guard. YouTube. He's got butterflies in, and he's gonna try to elevate the hips of Jim Miller. Mac Danzig, very, very accomplished grappler. Very dangerous guy, both off his back and on top. That was. <laughs> Miller, well aware of the fact that. He's got to be careful with Danzig because he is so well versed in submission, so well versed really in a lot of different areas of the game. Yeah, and he is the loves going society? for Kimura's. Yo, what happened? Did, we, did I miss one? From the if bottom. I missed it, right I apologize. Now he's got a uh, hold of uh, Jim Miller's chin, and Miller is looking to pass the guard There's here. Jack Noose. Danzig finished all four of his fights on the Ultimate Fighter. The first three by choke. Triangle choke, rear naked choke, rear naked choke. If you're not and doing both, you're not the true grinder, right? To become the ultimate fighter. Oh, those elbows. Yeah, I mean, he was off to a great start in the UFC. He looks fantastic in those fights. And then, you know, recently Yo, he what up, Mismatch Mile? How you do? How you do? You good? Sorry, I'm just now catching that. My bad. Looking to do some damage from the bottom. 155 oh, you just so watched Danzig and Sakurai? Oh, man. I said Sakurai took my eyeball. You got to get it back. You fall way took the, down the front of my eyeball. Danzig doing a good job of keeping Miller in his guard. Looked for rubber guard for a second. Then gave Main it up. card good minute. How you doing? How you doing? Top. Someone's bleeding. I believe it's Mac Danzig. Oh, yeah, he's bleeding big time. Oh, that was that last elbow, Mike. That last elbow. Oh! And again. And you hear another, his corner yell, Jimmy. Look at Mac, he's, he's trying to hammer down. He Look at him, he's going nuts with that right elbow, though. Look at the pace all of a sudden turned down by Danzig. Yeah, he knows he's in trouble. That, you know, that blood is everywhere now. 
Good elbow by Miller. VH4R, VH4R with the 26 bucks. Jack always Jack a pleasure to, 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 to hear the champ dropping fight knowledge, honest love, and appreciation. Oh, so And those bleed a lot. A lot of times they look a lot worse than they are. But it looks like it's rolling into his right eye, Joe. Yeah, it does. Go to support AK Zeus. It's going to affect his vision. It's, wow, it's dripping. Y'all didn't tell me what it's going to be yet, though. It's tough for us to see. How bad it looks until they get some. Uh, it's oh, you see his eyebrows yeah. swelling up. It's definitely not good. And Miller's got him. I up do. Again, the and cream will rise. Again. I call it ketchup. She's better than saying that wow. the, the, the other yeah, stuff. That's ketchup. Blood. Just sounds better. Ketchup. Taking a look up at the big screen is Danzig. Jack News gifting that sub love and appreciation. Miller with the elbow connected. Danzig is cut open. Yeah, and his, his corner, his brother's yelling out more elbows. And there's another there one is. on the same spot, and now it's really they're not, open. They're, they're just squirting ketchup. It's just ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Danzig's trying real hard to <laughs> cut <laughs> him from the bottom, landing some elbows wait, of his is own. This? He's got his head pressed up against. Okay, wait. So I don't know. Are these a problem? Maybe they're not in order? It's a cage here, though. Not good. Uh, this is the Miller Brothers 101. He's going for an Oma Plata, is Mac Danzig. But, you know, they're so slippery right now. With all that blood, this is like hot oil wrestling. Another big elbow thrown by Miller. Danzig's Jinx, trying to stay buy me the though, next Joe. UFC well, fight, you know, and I will give you a kid. dollar. I'll tell you there, what. But just drop into the watch long, and I'll try to do a good enough job with my commentating that you don't even have to buy it. Head right now, man. This is like a horror movie. Final seconds of the first round. Chance, any chance we ever get you on the UFC broadcast team? Nope, right here, running the UFC streams is what I want to do. I like doing this right here, running the UFC streams. You know what I mean? I love this. I mean, if they ever ask, hey, more power to them. But I like, I truly, truly MMA, Jake. I, I truly love this. I love doing this. With everybody. I like building this. I want to make this YouTube, you know what I mean? This Fight Pass YouTube stream a lot bigger, a lot bigger. I want everybody to just come in and, yes. So, yeah, was this, that's what I'm asking. Was this the blood fight that, that was everywhere? Because it looks like it might be. Because otherwise, there is a lot of ketchup gonna, that's hitting this canvas. Be ready for that single leg takedown right off the bat. Look at that. Look at that thing. Like that is it bad. Nothing to do with you on your feet. Use that reach. Yeah, Saturdays, obviously, we can't show the live fights, but we do we do a good watch. We got a lot of, you know, we got all the clips and stuff. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. Oh, look, he couldn't even get that thing to stop completely. That's crazy. Getting set for round two. Bloodied but far from beaten is Mac Danzig. Oh, I don't know. Did anybody check the they fan touch. sitting? Oh, okay. Hold up. Remember one time. So one time we were doing these streams. We were watching from the old school. We were watching old school fights. I don't know if anybody remembers with me, but we were on Twitch, the Twitch UFC stream, and we were watching old school fights. And somebody had a plate. Of, the cameraman had a plate of nachos. And he had them like down on the floor, like on the top of the canvas, on the top of the cage, just on the other side of the, of the, of the, where the two fighters were. And one of them was, el was elbowing. I'm not, it was a bad place to put those nachos. That's all I'm going to say. That ketchup. Look at that. Hi, rest. Lucky Luciano. Did you have a ref you liked? I liked all the refs. He's got to do something here. He's right in front of us with his head pressed down. Looking for an Oma Plata. It was mad. You remember that? Through, it was like UFC like six or something. Miller remember the play? Somebody has to be with me from those days. We have the clip. We have the clip some. Oh, that's right. UFC Machu. We have that clip somewhere. I those nachos. Virginia they were <laughs> Construction with his father and brother for a long time, and now both Jim and Dan Miller, UFC fighters. Jim landed another big elbow there, Mike. There it is. He was very angry. This is the Kimura that Mac likes. He's very good at this, Mike. Very good at this move. Jim Miller Joe was very angry. He's trying to get out of that guard. Pass that guard, but. Careful here, though. Yeah, Mac let go of the Kimura, and he's got the full guard. He's, he's getting If it's still around, you know what I mean? It's and still now around. And it's opening up again. 
I think I know. I think what, I think I know what all the subs today are going for. And some guys, you, you know, you'll see them lose their heart. I've seen spirit. one. I need to see Never a couple did. more, and nope. I'm in. Yeah, and you know what? He got battered in that fight, and he still hung in there to the very last second. 3:05 remains in round two. Ketchup Kansas on his nachos, Mega. You remember that? Oh, we can't. On the ground, it's Miller who's controlling. Mac looking for submissions all the time, though. Closes the guard. Some watery salsa. <laughs> Zion. And again, Joe, as you pointed out, something the different. Blood, the the energy. I don't think they, they don't they're not going to stop it. I mean, they, the they'll give him a chance to clean it up. Yeah, a they let it go for a while for that Alma Plata, but you know they're so slippery. It's going to be so easy for Miller to pull out of it, and the more blood they get, I was going to say I, I seen one, I seen one person so, wearing you know, a tie, so I was going to say all subs go support AK Stu's a uh, couple of couple of new neckties, but then all of a sudden Good nobody's wearing again. any right now. You know, I don't know what's going through his head right now. He's trying to land some elbows from the bottom. Miller, you know, he's just going to continue to do what he's doing now. He's just ripping Man, elbows, elbows from down here. From Miller top. driving forward. Control the position. Yo, man, much love and appreciation, Zero. Jim Miller, 13 Please, thank all of you for overall. being here. And then the busier the chat is, the better. Career. Remember that. I have to have you to talk to. to fellow New Jersey native Frankie. Like when I'm doing the watch long, I have to have the chat. Otherwise, if you ain't talking to me, we got problems. But I'll go eight hours if y'all talking. That's just what I love to do. Yeah, he showed a lot of heart in that fight because he's just moving Clay all over the place. This has got to be the one that stained up that and, canvas. You know, he he gave Miller a beating. You would think so. And again with the big elbow. Action, guys, let's go. Oi, pop up, pop up, Zions. Again. Matt this is literally them. Kimura. They're just making laps Let's around this canvas. Just, just, it's going everywhere. Going, he, he really doesn't seem to have an answer for Miller on top of him. No, Miller's. What? You ever get, you ever get hit so hard you forgot you were in UFC? I was, I got knocked out. I got hit so hard one time. Yeah. I thought the world, I thought the world kept tilting. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And they're like, no. I go, is, is it tilting? No. I go, okay. And I was just swaying. It took me a day to figure out who I was. Blood's really starting to affect the vision. I got of Matt wrecked Danzig, one time. Into that eye. Well, it's not just going to affect his vision, Mike. It's going to affect his... I should have never got on a boat afterwards. Went on a cruise. And I kept thinking, is it me or is the boat rocking? Who's <laughs> the weaker you get? It's like horrible. if you've ever donated blood. Or if you've ever, you know, gotten blood. To, the damn thing so was... Afterwards. That's what the, they have damn, the damn boat was docked. And I'm sitting there going, I'm getting seasick. Like, if the boat's not even moving. I'm like, oh... Oh, my bad. One more thing working <laughs> against Mac Danzig. Huh? Danzig, bare knuckle was around when you left the UFC. Would you have done it? Yes. He caught a little that was, right hook yes. There. Oh, nice big kick. kick. The oh! Gets taken down yeah, for that guillotine. He's got a guillotine choke here. Mile seconds of the round, though, Joe. It's a very good guillotine choke. Oh! That was a big hit. Oh, Mac Danzig, he knows he was close to getting that submission. Oh, that was so tight. That was nice. No, probably not. With the cut? No. Man. He's got to be disappointed by that. Here you see it again, Mike. He goes for the takedown, leaves his neck out there, and Danzig gets that arm in guillotine, and it's pretty tight here. And he has an excellent one. Turns it Who over. Who is my hardest fight, Casey? Anxiety and depression. Here, but unfortunately for him, I say it every round. time. Anxiety and depression. They were my worst. They were my worst enemy. My whole life was two little down, sons of bitches, and I say down. that giggling. On, Those two little sons of bucks, they, they haunted me for a long time. It took me a while. Away. It took me a while to get over it, but a lot better the these days. But yeah. Oh, look at that! I mean, he just let's go, Stitch, Look at that! Boom! Oh, he got it! In my man! Oh, perfect! Oh, it's still leaking! Stop it! <laughs> Come on. Well, Joe, that's got to give Danzig some confidence, though, as we head to the third and final round. It, it's certainly got to help him. It's certainly got to help him. And he looks very pumped up coming in here. Here we go. We can get into it, but I don't, we're watching fights. I would talk about it, but we'll, we'll do it another time. We'll save that for another day. Danzig oh. to the body. Hot case. Yeah, hey, man. 
Danzig's got a renewed true. confidence here. I wish I'd learned After later. I wish I'd, you know, that submission like I said, if I could have this mindset into a 28-year-old body, let's go. Danzig's you know. <laughs> his opponent. Miller's going to get in and out, look for a takedown, Joe, and take no chances. Right there, watch. Now watch this. Danzig's going to try to dip. Get in and out, look for a take and he's going to he try to throw that jab, and he's going to go the jab and come down and throw that uh, left to the liver. Down. Boom. Miller backs up and cracks him with Joe that right. No that was chances. sick. So watch this again. Miller's going to get in and out, look for a takedown, Joe, and Boom. take no See, chances. Boom. See, that. He was too far with that jab right to sell it. Very nicely over Oi. The top there we go. Left hand. Oh, watch that knee, though. Knee takedown inside Miller, the guard again. Miller very careful to avoid the guillotine that time, though. Danzig pushing away, trying to get back to his feet, or trying to get a Kimura on the right arm of Jim Miller. Jim Miller protecting that arm well. And Danzig working hard to get back to his feet, and he does. Oh, He's got a just shake that head right, right there with all those cowmen. One right hand. Two. They'll all get it. You know what I mean? Got to be careful he doesn't get taken down here again. Osalia, nice 28 the with the prime. Much love. Now, 335 remains. Danzig pushing forward. TY, 28. Again, he looks to change levels. All subs. Going to go support AK Snoo's new suit. We're going to get him a dress shirt and some ties. Danzig up on his toes. See if he's setting up a kick. Inside leg kick by Miller. King of Philly, what? You've never been in the UFC next time it comes to Boston? You're going? There you go. Who's Miller fighting right here? Danzig. He won Miller's the ultimate got fighter. Respect for Danzig's hands, no question. You know what? Captain Kirk lived long and prosper. Gangster. And it looks like Max really trying to work through that blood loss, Joe. Looks like he's wobbling a little bit. Superman punch. Well, it's been a very tough pace. Lead uppercut. Oh, right, right, right hand though. That got him. That got him there. Oh! Again, Miller pulls out immediately, recognizing that Danzig might be. I haven't watched him play, but I'm sure he's probably pretty good at it. Two thirty remains in the fight. Danzig's got to do something here. I think we're talking about a tra traditional or a buffer suit. We got to get a buffer it's suit. Be real hard to submit that's why color. we need. That's why we need the more subs. We go for the buffer suit, you know, man. He's trying for that omoplata again, but you know them being so slippery. Miller is just going to look to pull that arm out. You see, it's already too high. See, he just slides it right out. Yep, and then delivers some damage of his own. Under two minutes now. One elbow opened up Danzig in round one. Danzig's got to realize there's less than two minutes to go here. He's got to do something spectacular. Working for that Kimura again. And as I said, it's it's one of his best techniques. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, isn't it? It's everywhere. I'm debating well, what on what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Kimura I, when a guy overcommits is the armbar. I'm going to let now you Miller's just get away with that one. Miller's got one hook in. He's got two. Oh, he's got, he's got two back. in. 120 oh. remains in the fight. Danzig is going to look to get that left Yo, arm much free up, gentleman and explode RC. and turn around appreciate so that he's you, in Miller's you. guard. He's trying to do it already. He's going to tur turn towards his left. And Jim Miller controlling the arm of Mac Danzig, not allowing him to do so. And he's got to be careful here that Miller doesn't turn this into an arm bar. Miller looking for that body triangle as well. He's got the hooks in now. Danzig arched up. And Miller's got to know that he's ahead here, but he's not trying to rest. He's trying to attack. He's got the choke. Let's see if he can sink it in. Very Does he get this? He's got it under the chin here. No Mike. spoilers, no spoilers. It's in tight. Oh, Max is give up the back. The oh, give up the back. He's got to come out the back door. We got a scramble. Lift up the leg. Oh, what a scramble. Look at Max. Come on, what? In the side control. He's in side control. 20 seconds in the fight. Matt Danzig's got to go for broke here, Mike. And he is, Joe. Oh, don't you dare sit back. You better figure it out from right there. Don't you sit back. Don't you sit back. Arm in guillotine position. Miller's out. Foxy Shades, Heidi. This fight's going to go to the judges' scorecards.
What a fight, though. No. Get out of here. That was sick. But that fight was awesome. And here's the wild scramble at the end here. You see Mac Danzig going for the Kimura, exposes his back. So I think we Jim figured Miller out where all the ketchup it, came from for this. Rolls uh, him, gets one hook in with the left side, gets the second on the hook canvas, in. On the canvas, right? Trying to get that choke. Danzig turns. <laughs> and Miller winds up trying to mount him here, but then Danzig reverses him and gets on top in side control. An excellent job of, of defending and then reversing by Mac Danzig. Yeah, well, we had no doubt about the Warriors. I just want to see if they can close that in. up. Look at That's that thing. Get it to stop. Oh, look at that thing. Danzig still looked to finish the fight late in round two. Also in round three. But Miller is going to earn the decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Find the winner by unanimous decision, Jim. Yo, that was yes, that was sick. Now, here's the question: How much can how much blood can can they actually lose before they they fall out in the fight? Who was it? I need UFC mod two and maybe Nate Case knew. Who was it that actually did lose a just a ton of blood and they they cut a um an artery up here and they had to go straight to the hospital. It was uh, Hoffa Garcia, thank you, lost 20% of his blood in that fight. He, it, somehow he got elbowed up here, and there was like an artery or something up here, and it, it was, yeah, Hoffa Garcia, yeah, it was Hoffa. It was insane, insane how much he lost. Nuts! It was, it was, it was, what? yeah, <laughs> it was, yeah, unreal. Un yeah, that was insane, that was nuts. Crazy. The New Jersey. Nice job, Jim Miller. All right, what do we got next? Akiyama. And Bel is oh, we got Belcher. Oh, I like it to Belcher. I like it to Belcher. Nope, I wanted that right there. Give me that. Tail of the tape. Tail of the Akiyama. Tape. Tail of the tape. Here's the elder of Belcher. Belcher is four inches taller, but both fighters possess a 75 inch reach. All right, y'all be on. I'm going to bathroom real quick. BRB, one second. <laughs> and now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins with four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Biloxi, Mississippi, Alan the Talent Belcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss, and two no contests. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Yoshihiro Aki. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Akiyama. There you go, first round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. And Belcher. Good leg kick by Belcher. And again, Belcher right away with the kicks. Belcher is very well rounded. We've seen him knock people out. We've seen him choke people out. And he always wears really cool shorts. <laughs> oh, my goodness, how quick was that, Joe? Akiyama with a nice front leg roundhouse kick. You know, as we showed on the tail of the tape, Belcher is taller, but the reach is identical at 75 inches. But Belcher does look like the much bigger fighter. But one of the things about the guys that fight in Japan is that most of them don't cut that much weight. So when you see a guy who's fighting at 185 pounds in Japan, he probably doesn't weigh much more than 185 pounds, as opposed to Americans where the wrestlers and a lot of these guys are really used to cutting tremendous amounts of weights, often more than 20 pounds. And Belcher is an expert at that, fighting as a middleweight. 
Belcher switches up his stance. Belcher looking for that left high kick. Belcher staying low, springing oh. forward. He ran forward and got caught with a punch there. Oh. Akiyama throws nice up kick. Nice Akiyama high kick, though. Really looking for those head kicks. Oh, oh right to the right to the sack. Ooh. Inadvertent in Akiyama. Belcher going for that inside leg kick, and how many times have we seen that? Ooh. Over and over. Not sure if it means. Just relax. Relax. Jump. Jump. Let's see it again here. Ouch. Belcher. It was a bad one. Very it experienced in the octagon. This is ninth relax. UFC fight. Relax. Mario Yamasaki doing his best to try to yep. tell Akiyama to relax. And Akiyama says he's ready to rock and roll. Here we go. They touch gloves. Inadvertent indeed. Those nasty inside leg kicks. Very heavy handed is Akiyama. <laughs> Belcher with the uppercut. Here the corner of Belcher yelling to tighten up a little bit. <laughs> The tattoo. What do you? Who draw with that tattoo? That is beautiful. Oh, a nice counter right. Oh, and Akiyama oh. stays in the pocket and swings. Belcher has been very hot and cold in his UFC career, but he's on a hot streak here there recently. And Joe, like you said, Walk him down, Belcher. King, and then Akiyama consecutively. Man, he puts himself right. Oh, that's a big kick. And he just landed a very oh. nice leg kick on Akiyama. Oh, dude, that was a big kick. Big kick. Look at Belcher's legs. I mean, Belcher's legs are like a running back. Thick, solid. Alan and Belcher very fights dangerous. like heavyweight, and he does up there, isn't he? Oh! Akiyama caught that one. Oh, nice. Oh! That was sick. Watch one. his right leg. Boom with the kick, and then pow Good with the right hand. That was sick. Right to the ribs. Yo, Dave I'm Space Dream, how you doing? How you doing? A guy with a, a judo background is a very solid striker. I think if that happens a two times Euros in a fight, the other guy should get a free penalty Hanging kick right up the line. middle. 100. 100. Kick check, but still, the jab connects. And as you said, he's been in. Oh, oh that hook, though. And as you Pump the right. Said, Boom. So it's the hook. left. That was beautiful. Belcher caught Akiyama. Akiyama jumped right back up to his feet, so we're not sure if that was if he was hurt or if he was caught in a position where his legs were in the wrong position. And he, and he oh, I see Uno in the middle. Okay, there's Uno. Belcher, What's let's up? go. Belcher doesn't want to get into a clinch game with the judo superstar. Why don't they clean the mats after every fight? The canvas? I don't even think that's possible. The left hand a moment ago. Akiyama looked up at the clock to see the time. Remains in the first round. I think that would take a lot. I think that would take a lot of time. Like, could you imagine? We're gonna need an hour to clean this mat. <laughs> you better off just pulling that damn thing off and, and changing it after every fight, if that's what you're after. Biloxi, Mississippi. Spends a lot of Yo, time main Milwaukee, card minute. Wisconsin, be real. Be good. Rufus. Be real good. Thank you for your time. We're back tomorrow doing the watch along. Oh, there we go. Left leg, right hand. I like that. 114 remains in the round. Kick punch combination a moment ago. Bring out the steam cleaner. Exactly, nice right? 420. Belcher. Honor. Belcher set it up nicely, Joe, with the hands there. Yes, he's Oh, Superman in the right left. Akiyama Come on, that was sick. Nice right hand there. Akiyama is oh, so big explosive. Up and a right hand by Bel Continuing Belcher. Continuing to press forward. Oh, Belcher lands. Belcher got out of the way just in time, Joe. Go grab the short, huh? Seems like the comfort level has continued to increase throughout this first round for Akiyama. Well, imagine what does the crowd do while they're waiting for the next fight and the canvas is being scrubbed. You know, a fighter gets Akiyama cut and everybody's like, oh, they take off running. Oh, I know it's going to take forever. I thought it was made of a white woman material. No, no, you're good. And there are some that are. There are some that are. I'm just playing with you, Razor. Yeah, no, with that canvas, though, that's that. Yeah, that canvas, is. it's not the same thing. But there are some that 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 other kind of material that absolutely you could wipe it up for sure. Hey.
Here we see a uh, looping left of Alan Belcher. And as I suspected, he caught, he caught. No, I'm just saying on this one with that canvas, you, you probably not. But caught him right on the chin. And Akiyama landed on. Oh, when you say, I, I don't know what kind of material that would be, but man, I'm going to have to, I'll tell you all a horror story one time. Oh, we'll get into that. Like that, is it vinyl? I guess vinyl would be the material. Of, like a vinyl ring. We got on the neck. Hitting and moving. I watched these kids. So the, this this ring was. I was at I was at one of these these. Um, I don't know. Just a, 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 I think it was a pro am show in Seattle, and it was it was the sun had been beating down on this can on this mat, and it was it was a, a really dark black mat with no cover. The first match, the first fight, these kids were standing in the shadows. They didn't even want to walk out onto the mat. It burnt third degree burns on the bottom of their feet. It was horrifying. And then we had to wait until the sun went down before they could um before they could bring it back up. They didn't have no cover. It burned. It burned so bad. I'm so lucky. They're so lucky that one of them didn't fall over. But they were stepping on it. They were literally like they were in pain. They made it a whole round. I couldn't believe it. They made it a whole round. And they were like, and then finally one of them fell over and they had third degree burns all over the bottom of his foot. Horrifying. Horrifying. I'm like, what? That was nasty. I'll never forget that. Take that. Belcher looking for the sweep. Look at this. Belcher. Turns him over. Belcher's got him on his back. Do fighters get tested before they have to do their, like, do you have to do your HIV test like every six months or something like that? And now Akiyama inside control. Belcher's Yo, what up, Kapata? How you doing? So what's the mat made out of? What do you mean? The canvas? As Joe said, he's an actor, he's a singer, he's a famous guy, and he can fight too. It's, it's pretty crazy how big yeah, the star Jim, he is Yeah, Jim, for the there. most part. It sucks it up. But as Joe mentioned, he said what matters most to him is fighting against the best Yo, in the world. Yo, you gotta thank Bay Bay Yankee Paul. That's what I mean, you gotta thank Fight Pass for this. Like, you know what? Let's watch some 100 and some 200, now, and let's go. Hello, man, am I Matt Serrett? No, that, that, that is another, this is the he is funnier than me. Where, uh, he's, a little uh, bigger than me. Do that. When he fights in dreams, I don't know if he has the hair that I do, but um, no, he is, um, no. Matt is, yeah, no. I don't have I don't have the accent that Matt back. does. In their battle a few years back in his debut in 2006. It's padded. There's a little padding now for sure Akiyama on there. Comes in making his debut after training with Yushinokami. Brandon, what up, Helsley? Huh? Is the chain link fence coated? Yeah, it's got that. I would have. To, I don't know what that that coating is, but yes, it's coated with. Um, I, I don't even know what you would call that material, but it is. It is. Yo, cozy, how you doing? It is. It is. Yeah. Like in fact, it, it's on you. Posturing up is Akiyama. It used to. I don't know if it, they may have changed that part. Time remains here in round two. Is it a powder coating? Belcher See, gonna sweep here again, I wouldn't or at least know. attempt to. He's trying what we call the electric chair sweep, trying to get his It's a canvas under. made of heavy cotton. Here. This canvas is tightly wrapped over the Akiyama foam padding defends. plywood. There you go. There it is. Looked up. See? See, now we're working together here. I like it, YouTube. Look at chat. We're working together. Someone took the time to look it up. I appreciate that armchair. TKO, knockout, or submission. Duck it, how you Go to the distance. Yo, what UFC. up, Anarchy? Big hello from Portugal. Usually How you doing, my friend? Good? Between the competitors. Oi, good right hand. Oh! oh! The uppercut. Inside leg kick, the answer. Yo, what up, Foxy? How you doing? Nakiyama's trying to put Dude, I love these fights. Too. Belcher's not afraid to showboat a little bit inside the octagon either, though, Joe. Both flashy guys. Nice leg kick by Belcher. And you can see the whip on that right leg, partner. Would I ever go? He swivels what the hips diving? Through, makes that leg very loose. I'm and not whippy. going. A guy going to a cave? Yeah, Duke Rufus has taught him well. Man, you mean like what do they call it? Spelunking or something? And nope. Connects with the jab. Nope. 
I'm getting nervous. Uh, I can't even. Oh, no, nope, I'm starting to. I'm going in the. Right? Nope. MMA. Just over a minute remains in the second round. Huh? Hold up. I'm sorry. All I can see is that tattoo. <laughs> He's using that same technique over and over again, Mike. See how he's, he pushes off, and as uh, Akiyama steps back, he lands that leg kick. Yo, I love it. Flo Solo holding it down over on the Akiyama tube. The yes, left. I love it. Yeah, of course. And Joe, I've never watched this, so I'm buzzing time, to be uh, watching the Jazz. Much and love, Jimmy. Glad you're here. Glad you're here, Graham. Well, I'm telling you. Belcher with the hands down. Yeah, I don't Akiyama ever want to hear about people down. getting. Yeah, I'm way too claustrophobic. The no Japanese way. Superstar tucks no the way. Chin. You hear uh, uh, Belcher's corner yelling at him to press the action. They think that Akiyama may be getting tired. I don't know if it's Elvis. I think it's Johnny Cash. Oh, nice leg kick good kick, though. Belcher. Good kick. Akiyama just shakes it It off. could be either one. Now, I, I do believe that Akiyama is starting to slow down, Mike. Oh! Good right, good right hand, though, right when he Final says that. Seconds around two. You do that? Yo, that's crazy talk. Again with that leg kick. That time Akiyama buckled. And he just kind of I don't watch it. I heard that. Arm. There was a couple stories on about leg, one Mike. went down the way that they fell down into it. I don't even know how you would do it. I couldn't. I'm like, I'm scared good just job, even Alan. thinking about something like that. No way. Rich, Way you? too claustrophobic. I don't know how I go on, I don't even know how I get on airplanes. Like there was a time, there there was a time, man. I me and airplanes would had problems. I have heard of the the car judo, right? Yeah, they. I've heard of this where they they start fight they start fighting in the car, seat belts are free and all that. I've heard of I've heard of these. Yes. Here we yes, see and Cowboy and that story about Kate. Yes, that's another one. Side control that's another a sharp elbow to the cheek of Alan Belcher. And here, Alan Belcher with a straight right and a nice left there's hand no afterwards. There's no way you could. There's no way. And, I couldn't. Uh, there's just Belcher no possible way. Like, I'm having a hard time breathing right now just thinking about the idea of even going towards the entrance of a cave. No. Ariani Logan. Holly Madison. Akiyama's ready to go. Third ready? and final ready? round. Let's go, come on. First fight of the night. Support Sold by out. watching Man those ads. Oh, yes. All right, Big King. Punishes the left lead leg of Akiyama. Akiyama's leg is hurt, Mike. And Belcher knows it. And he's zooming in on it. On Instagram? All right, beat in. I'll get it. Might have caught a little poke in the eye there, too. Look at the what left What do you think eye about Cowboy Sweeney? See how he's kind of twitching yeah, away from it, right. Joe? Oh, riding. He's going to ride um, Dana's bull. Um, and his eye is swollen, too. Yeah. He keeps blinking that left eye. Oh, what the heck is his name? Kind of trying the to bull. clear his vision, if you will. I'm crying out loud. I'll look it up, but yeah. Not sure, as you can tell from his left arm, a huge Johnny Cash fan. Chris Seal, I believe, is Dana's bull. That's Clemente's voice telling him not to take a step back. Good right hand. Oh, nice good left. shot by Belcher. Yo, oh, Anton, nice. how you do, Pre? How you do? All was great. All was great, Anton. Alan Belcher is, you know, honored with the first fight of the night at UFC you know, 100. What it reminds me of. Those who know Alan Belcher know why, and tonight is another display. I'm going to have to look exactly that up. Exactly of his um, rising star. Yeah, well, he's got a tremendous amount I don't of, get of wrong. potential, and he always throws down. He lands that leg kick again, defeated Kang. Now he's looking to dispose of Akiyama. Three and a half minutes Who remains that? in the fight. I'm going to have to, like, I got to look this up because now this is going to tear me apart. Just hold on one second. Yeah, look at the left eye's almost closed of Akiyama. Yeah, he's, he's closing it. Something definitely happened. But he's hanging in there. Belcher. He's trying to zero in on that side, too. His eyes really completely closed now. I don't know if he got accidentally poked. Joe, as he looks for the elbow, does Belcher, or if Belcher just ripped a right hand into him. Who? Um... Oh, that was a hard one, Mike. You hear the thud and not the slap. At one point, it'll be interesting to see if Akiyama 
looks to change his stance. Red Rock. Okay, so there it is. So, left arm low there in front of the it reminds me of, so Cowboy doing this with Steel, it reminds me of um, Lane Frost, may he rest in peace, when he did that against Red Rock, where they set up this big, savage meeting between the uh, the un, the bull that had never been ridden and Lane Frost, and they had, I think he had three tries to try to do it. Maybe that's cool that they're setting this up with uh, Dana White, Twisted Steel, and Cowboy. Pretty cool. Nice right hand over the top by Belcher. Not just Joe with the left eye closing, but with the left thigh so bruised. But Akiyama still dangerous. Akiyama countered there. What 300 fight am I most hyped for? Please, I'm just hyped for the dang show to sit here and do a watch along and hang out with everybody in chat. That's me. A big demand oh. for this man to come from Japan to the UFC, but Akiyama's in trouble with under two oh, minutes left. Oh, that right hand still landing. Akiyama. Oh, good right hand, Belcher. Belcher. Looked like Belcher was looking to set up a big elbow again. Belcher's corner really wants him to work that leg kick. Belcher's I really am. I'm just looking forward to the fight. Elbow. It's going to be insane. I mean, obviously, Blocked. Jamal and Pajeda is, you know. He just missed with it earlier, Joe. Sucker punch for the win. Oh, the nice kick. kick. See, that's Joe. every time, though. Buries the kick, and at the same time, look at Akiyama loading up on that right hand. There. Boom. The leg kick. But it caught the elbow. Looked like it hit him. Back up to his feet. A lot of time left. Belcher got dropped. Flipped around. Looks at Duke Rufus and Rich Clemente. Gagey's up there and for you with Oliveira. Of course. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got to be careful. No, I'm picking that. Yeah. There's shots. just so many fights. It's unreal, isn't it? Belcher has I'm so fight. torn, Max versus Justin. That's why I'm just rooting. I'm just happy for both of them. Jab, jab. This fight looks even. Looks to the corner again. Under it, a minute. Interesting that oh, Akiyama... No. <laughs> This Looks is awesome. Look at him. He, he, look, he sets his foot up there and goes, oh, yeah, I got you. Bow! What a super come on. And with the Superman <laughs> ah, that was awesome. Interesting that Akiyama hasn't tried to take it to the ground except for that Ooh. one time. He's content to try to stand and trade. Again, nice leg kick by Belcher. Man, he is going to have a black and blue left thigh after this one. Oh, good Belcher, jabs, good jabs. Left. Belcher moving away in boxing now. 30 seconds. Oh, he tried to spin. Fist over the top. There's, There's the take the down Joe. Joe. Right into side uh, control. Akiyama. And this is not good for Belcher. He's doing great in this round up until now. He's got to get back to his feet. And he explodes. Very nice. Now he's got to make up for that takedown. He knows he does. seconds of our first fight. Of this historic oh, UFC that right 100. hand, Akiyama. Nice oh, Belcher. that left hook that time, Akiyama. Great fight. Good fight. What, do I remember this card or first for me? It's always the first for me. And here's the crazy Superman oh, punch. It doesn't matter how many times I watch the fight. We, we've it's, never seen today this is the before. first time I've ever watched him. Alan Belcher's a wild man. <laughs> that was awesome. That's uh, very entertaining. And, you know, Akiyama, you see emotion to the hand. That was to get the crowd going. You all right, Sandwich? Be good, be good. Yeah. That's right. Look at that. Look at Uno. That's so Momenti. cool. And Rufus feel very confident that their fighter 100 in style. The official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Adelaide Bird scores the contest 30 27. Grumpy Duck. Akiyama. Douglas Crosby has it 29 28. Belcher. And Patricia Morse Jarman scores the contest 29 28. Declared the winner by split decision. Yoshihiro Akiyama! Nice! All right, let me see. Where are we at? Oh! One, two. We got another Miller, 200. We got a Miller, 200. All right, let me go with these ones right now.
Am I a gamer? I used to be. I I yeah, I used to. I still game. My favorite game, I can't stop playing Fortnite. I like it at Fortnite. Fortnite is my game. And then of course, um, and Shrouded, they just add a new dungeon, so I need to start diving back in and shroud it. Love that game. Love that game. Henderson's been around for a long time and has beat some of the best fighters in the world. You're talking about one of the most successful. And Henderson. Our tale of the tank for this middleweight fight. The American, eight years the elder of the Brit. Bisping will have a slight reach advantage with the official introductions once again the veteran voice of the octagon bruce bumper and now three rounds in the ufc middleweight division introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a valley judo fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins with one loss he stands six feet two inches tall weighing in at 186 pounds Fighting out of Manchester, England. He is the ultimate fighter. No spoilers. Winner, I've never seen this fight. Don't ruin it. Count Biz Ping. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins with seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California. He is the tough the season. We watched that. Remember that? Going through tough Tuesdays. Dan Hendo Henderson. Speaking of. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Speaking of tough Tuesdays, Trish TV slash UFC, we've been doing tough Tuesdays, and we just started season 19. Frankie Edgar and BJ Penn, not bad, not bad, not bad. Sold out. Go, one, the chance of you USA. Ready? Let's go, come on. Hendo in the white trunks. Bisping in the white and black trunks. One of the things that's really shown, that you've really seen an improvement on in Michael Bisping over the last few years is his footwork and his boxing. And I expect him to use a lot of that, a lot of footwork, to avoid the big power right hand of Dan Henderson. His being never been finished or knocked out. Henderson, never been finished or knocked out. Never been TKO'd or KO'd in his mixed martial arts career. Henderson trying to hunt down his opponent. There's that big right hand. Swing and a miss. Man, Yo, three scoops. Much love, much and love and appreciation. Oh! Vicious power in that right hand. And his left as well. He knocked out Vanderlei with a left hook. Bisping's strategy, Joe, is to stick and move. <laughs> Stay away from a potential clinch game with Dude, the Greco-Roman Olympians. Chats are killing me right now. And oh, this is all too, too funny. Too funny. speed advantage. But we saw him employ oh. the same sort of stick and move strategy. Now that, though, like, look at Hendo is like, look at this. Oof. The same sort of stick and move strategy and get a victory over Chris Lieben. But Chris Lieben is not Dan Henderson. He's rocked him early. Henderson looking to hunt him down. Henderson teeing off on Bisping. Bisping may be hurt, Mike. He landed a couple oh. of good shots there, though. Hang on oh. again with that right hand to the body. Yeah. Squire, that's yeah. I would say yes. Henderson yes. Looks good. He looks very solid, Mike. You know, this might have been the motivation that Dan Henderson needed to train really hard. Yes, yep, just like done. Said, he this done. Is the best him he's off. in a long time. He might have needed a guy that he really disliked. Boy, Coming during the show, the fighter, they were yeah, the, the ultimate United fighter <laughs> against Team United Kingdom. <laughs> that was and crazy. it's no secret that the Brits ended up dominating that competition. Going through all the toughs, that season that was not. That angered the prideful American Ooh, as well. Oh, good shot. There you go, Bisping. But the thing is, is Henderson, Henderson won't say anything, Joe. He'll just fight. And fight as well as anybody in the history of the game. Yeah, he's not one for trash talk. I mean, the, the most trash talking he did was 
called Bisping a douchebag, <laughs> which was a pretty good line. Versatile word. Good right hand by Bisping, though. Bisping lacks no confidence and has a ton of skills, and he may very well know, Joe, that he just needs to weather an early storm and the big right hand to Henderson. Bisping's starting to loosen up a little bit here. And as you said, Joe, he's got tremendous footwork. Has improved that drastically since the Ultimate Fighter he, competition. He's oh. also very good at sticking to the game plan. He doesn't get sucked into any unwarranted exchanges or oh, falling into anybody else's game. When he fought Chris Lieben, he did exactly that. Just stuck and moved, stayed on the outside. Henderson would like a slugfest. Fizzbing would like a technical battle. Neither Look man thinking about taking <laughs> this to the ground. He yet. runs at him, just pumping that right hand. Bisping misses with the uppercut. Bisping really Scott, Scott, circling. Scott, what up, what up, how you doing? Now he's circling the other way. Joe, for a while he was circling right into that Spider right moves, hand how you the do, how you do? Bisping's got to be careful. Yeah, he oh, right bye, Pat, you do. There you go, bitch. Oh, this is right. Henderson just looking to load up on that right hand. The problem with that, Mike, is that Bisping sees it a mile away. Yeah. Bisping does a great job of tucking the head and keeping not just the hands, oh, but the arms up over the top. Good right hand by Bisping, partially oh. blocked by Henderson, but now Henderson mauling him up against the cage. No what up, Dak man, Dak man. Coming into play for Dan Henderson, landing some good knees to the body. He's great at controlling his opponents in this position. He's great at ragdolling people, too. I'm going to foul you, huh? The there you go. You let me know. Michael Bisping, 3-0 as a middleweight. Bisping gets free, but he got free with a message, and that message was in the clinch. Dan Henderson is going to dominate. Dan Henderson actually smiled at him like, are you kidding me? You gonna take me down? His big do ancestors no. fought in battles in Poland, oh. Germany, Austria. His grandfather at age 15 defended his home against the Germans. Thus the nickname the count. Good right hand at the end of the round. Nice fight, Dan Henderson and Michael Bisping. As long as Bisping certainly he's sticking, pop, pop, crack, like pop, pop, crack, so that double jab Bisping. right hand. Something like that, he's looking good. To show that kind of tired in the middle of the ring. You're walking right onto the backhand, mate. Get off his backhand, he's absolutely pathetic. Calm down. I love Move this to coach. The right. Move to the right, Mike. Okay, listen. Okay, listen up, listen up. Suck up, son. Mike, listen to me, son. This is all being stand up most of all. Move off his backhand, make him miss, make him pay. Michael, double a jab, step across, Go Mike. Close round, close yeah. round. He, 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 he edges it out. Yeah. It was double a good round. Jab, Yo, Murky, how you doing? Slow their right hand down. Add the oh, left hook oh, to that. Hold this. Oh. Hold it up. Okay, Joe, in the Let's corner of Michael Bisbing, his trainers are angry, and they said exactly what I kind of mentioned to you is that he's walking right into the right hand in the power of Dan Henderson. Yeah, his trainer is absolutely <laughs> furious at him. <laughs> That guy's right out of a Guy Ritchie movie, too. <laughs> I want to drink with those All dudes. kinds of Guy Ritchies. Rampage in the corner of Bisbee. We're second round, you ready? No, we're going, we're we're going a different road Let's today, go, Murky. A different round. road. Bisbee with that light front leg, looking for kicks. He's, he's taking on more than blue blue stance in this round. Inside leg kick. Oh, really, Jimmy? Oh, no, Bisping is phenomenal. You kidding me? Bisping is the poster boy for the U.S. TJ, why rock? For Sue to get a, get a cake or a cake? Behind, Ooh. Bisping came over, won the No, we'll get him a suit and tie. We're going to get him a suit and tie. I think it's a dress shirt and a tie right now. Can't do that clip on, so all subs go support AK Suit and tie. Or shirt and tie. 
And uh, this past season of the Ultimate Fighter, how really old is Bisping that, here? Thirty. Clean sweep by the UK. I think right some. Ooh. And we've had. Ooh. Henderson lands a big right hand, Mike, and a left hook behind it. Man, Henderson is just stalking Michael Bisping. Very confident, Dan Henderson. Patient, picking his shots for that heavy hand. 3.35 remains in round two. Uppercut. Oh. Hall of Famers in attendance here tonight. Boyce Gracie. The star of UFC 1. Good jab by Henderson here. What's that? Why doesn't Henderson go for more big body shots with, with that right hand? I feel like it would throw his opponents off and gas him out. Because Hendo wants to do just one thing. And one thing only with that right hand. And he makes no bones about it. He's going to throw that thing right to the side of your head. Anywhere in the facial area. And, and smash you. That's it. He doesn't. He's, there is nothing else. Can you see how many of these have just missed so far? He don't. He makes no bones. I'm going to cock this big boy back and let it rot. I'm a left-handed, so, but, yeah, no, that's why. That's why he doesn't throw body shots, or he just lands one big mass. He's just looking to land one big shot. That's it. H-bomb. H-bomb. Those aren't body shots. Those aren't uppercuts. It's an H-bomb for a reason. You know what I mean? Here at UFC 100, Chuck Liddell inducted into the Hall of Fame yesterday. One thing that you, you don't see a lot of from Dan Henderson, Mike, is feints. He kind of wades in and looks for openings. Oh, and see? You see that one just go by? Big bucks and Mike is feints. He kind of wades in and looks for openings Oof. and throws big bombs, but he doesn't fake a lot. Missed with the right hand, Joe. Got a little off balance there and almost got hit. Just about at the midway point of this non-title fight. And he's looking to load up, Joe. You can just tell when that left shoulder comes up, the right hand is soon to follow. And his opponents know it, but a lot of times they can't do anything about it. Oh, there you go. Now, Bisping's doing a great job of boxing him Bisping up. Pop, pop. Out, that one, two, getting out of the way. Much better Look at that. Second Double jab. And again, right there. In now watch. Bisping. Boom, yeah, boom, boom. Two. Double much jab, second And look at that. And then it's just managed to get out of the way of that right hand. Second <laughs> round for Michael Bisping. Bisping is doing phenomenal. Yeah, pop, two. pop, pop. Second round you know what I mean? He just, I'd rather he go the other way. But you see, we certainly and he just got out of the way again. He's not making any secrets. Oh, look at how that hard he's playing. <laughs> he just wants to let him, but that's the suck, man. You got to try to make it a whole fight and not let him land that thing. It'd be horrible. I've been against swingers like that, and it's just, man, all they got to do is land one, like, ah, He runs into ah. the big right hand of Dan Henderson, and that's what his coach didn't want. Huh? Jed, yeah, you eating the H-bomb? I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try not to. Now that, right there. Did you see what he just did? Now watch. Listen to when he's, he's, look, he kicked it once, now he does it again. Now watch him when he takes his step. A big step. But he masks it by kicking the inside of the leg. I think that inside leg, that inside Tyson, leg kick absolutely created that one little moment of, of pause. Dan Henderson is an animal. Michael Bisping is still unconscious. He basically skipped into the KO, right? It's just insane. Oh, damn. See, I knew they were going to do it. See, now is it. He just, he just right dropped that right left hand. on a jab. Out cold, and here's another one just for good measure. And 
that one stiffened up his toes. Can you see it again? He's out cold already. Henderson's on top of him. Bam! He's still out cold, Mike. Here we go again in slow motion. See, it even landed the jab. He even landed the jab as he was moving away. It just kind of grazed off the face of Hendo. But then look at that thing was just... Boom! That was just... Separates him from his senses. And this right here is revenge. That last right hand was ruthless. Joe Bisping had never been finished or knocked out. That was crazy. He's up now. And of course, Bisping, Bisping goes on to have a phenomenal career. But... Seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Dan Hendo Henderson. I mean, he's throwing them so heavy, right? He was just throwing them so heavy that it was just, it was like, man, you know, it's like a matter of time before. But now, we got, let me see, where is, when does this fight start? of the world, George Rush St. Pierre. Huh? I feel bad for, you know, but that's the thing. I mean, thing, it happens, you know, it, like that's the game. That's the game. It happens. Ah. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Mazzagatti. Bisping has had a phenomenal career. Gentlemen. But that was hands down. This is it, again, that was a crazy rounds. single punch. We will have not. a clean, fair fight. You need to obey my commands. Protect seven. I was watching time. your highlights. I love that clip of you knocking out Lewis and then pumping up the crowd, the raising your arms up. Oh, I'm telling you. Is on the telling you, I was, I, was, I was floating. I was floating. The challenger. That was a big GSP chant, right? Quick inside leg kick by the champion in the red trunks. Very. I mean, it's cool to be able to watch a GSP. Like you miss him. I haven't. Like it's been a minute since you've seen it. Since we got to see a GSP. It's good to see. That's why I like going back and watching. Great skills in all areas. And I'm really interest, interested to see what he does to neutralize the striking of Tiago Alves. The one thing we do know is GSP has been in the championship rounds before. Slow solo, He's been in the stop it. <laughs> Tiago Alves has not. That's very important. <laughs> Tiago Alves thus needs to look to be effective, but yet pace himself in a different way than he's had to before. And see, this is it. This was a moment at this time. Thiago was pretty, he was pretty intimidating. His leg kicks were nasty. And remember, like he was tearing people up. At, at, there was a time, this was it before this. He was hurting people. Like he was ripping them apart. Thiago Alves, if George can do that that easily, St. Pierre, the second most accurate in UFC history with this. But GSP and his game plan, he's just too damn good. He's just too good. Seven percent of the time, it's really incredible when you very consider smart, the fact very that he patient, never as a wrestler good game in high plan, or college. You know what I mean? He executed it perfectly. The best wrestler in all of mixed martial arts. Never got so baited into scraps wrestlers. and stuff and like that. He's equally effective passing the guard. As as he leans feet, on you know what I'm saying? Midnight Rambler. Charles has his back here. Joe, it's early in the fight, but you can already see. Look at the welts on the left. I still play GSP, GSP in UFC yeah, Undisputed. Who's with me? He's got to be careful. Tiago has got to be very oh. careful. George has his back. So versatile, as you mentioned. Yo, a family pass. Well, what up, Miss Paul Rice? Recently watched you defeat BJ you know, Penn. Oh, hey, and ping here, pong. Mike. Hey, it was a game, though. George like, we had to go into like, double overtime. It was craziness. <laughs> They're not slippery yet. They're not covered in sweat. And Tiago rolls him over. Tiago back to his feet. And they're broken apart. See, I wonder if UFC Mod 2 Tiago's knows. Tiago's got to be a little, a little bit shy new. now. A little wary of those takedowns. Let's see if he tries to punish that okay. big leg I'll, again. I'll Tiago Alves. Taken down with relative ease by George St. Pierre. Welterweight title. Good luck to by Tiago. There's nice that kick, kick again. He 
He no. likes to use that inside leg kick and follow up with the I hands too to the Brazilian. Nice, nice combination. I love how St. Pierre sets those up. Snapping that quick jab. Nice inside leg kick right, by George. It? And again, he steps in and extends the length of that jab. And already, Joe, as I mentioned, St. Pierre has a six-inch reach advantage. And thus, you see him staying on the outside. And he shoots again. This time, he gets... He stops it. Check that kick. Tiago Alves surviving the early takedown and the passing AK? of the guard by GSP. Tiago pressing forward. Nice I'm, kick. I'm putting it here. takes him down again. And that over time is going to make Tiago Alves Thiago, perhaps show a little bit more hesitant to throw those kicks. Tiago's bleeding, Mike. It looks like he has a small cut on his right eyelid. 20 seconds remains in the first round. Championship How fight. about that? GSP trying to set up an elbow, Joe. Tiago trying to push him off, gets back to his feet. And he does. Good start for the champion. He wins round one. St. Pierre Alves, round two. You heard Greg Jackson say, every time you take oh, them down, don't do that. you wear them out a little bit. And that is absolutely true. And it's the ease in his ability to take him down that's that's really troubling. And as you mentioned, this is a big 170, probably over 200 pounds right now. I'm and, guessing about 208. And that might be a problem when we get into the third, fourth, and fifth rounds. Absolutely. When you see how much of an effect that dehydration, cutting that weight, getting down to 170 has had on his body. And that's one of the reasons why George stays at about 185. He doesn't like to cut too much weight. He says it's bad for your body and he wants to have a long career. Well, Ricardo Laborio told already Bravo that Tiago's about 190 as he comes into this fight. That's 20 pounds from the cut. And, and you got to think that he's more than that when he's walking around. When he's training, he's like 200. Nice Good leg, leg kick, kick by, by George. GSP. And he can take down immediately. Control so far by St. Pierre. A lot more, I think, even though he was the favorite coming in, Joe, a lot more than people anticipated. Yeah, the control and the stand-up, and it's because Tiago's worried about those takedowns, and the takedowns have been pretty decisive. George has been able to take him down every time he wants. 77% effective with his Mount. takedowns in his career. Good job by Tiago of avoiding that mount, getting to full guard again. It's also been nearly two years since St. Pierre's been on his back. He's hammer fisting from the bottom. Tiago's bleeding very badly from his nose, Mike. And then George slams an, an elbow into it. Joe, you and I have said for a long time that Tiago Alves, in the package that he brings, probably the biggest threat to GSP's throne. Nasty elbow right there from George on that nose again. But it certainly doesn't look like it now, does it? Well, you know what? On paper, things are always different on paper than they yeah. are in the octagon. And George St. Pierre is a, a special fighter. Oh, 
just the second round. Not just He's not just special in his ability to fight. He's also special in his ability to implement game plans and to follow through with what his coaches ask of him. From the south shore of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He grew up mentally after that first Matt Hughes fight. And other than the shocking defeat at the hands of Matt Serra in their first matchup, this guy's been nearly unstoppable. And this is shades of the BJ Penn fight, Mike. He's wearing Tiago down with his ground and pound. And he's constantly making him work. Tiago's breathing very heavy. He's constantly trying to fight to keep GSP from passing his guard. And in the meantime, he's taking punches and elbows. Dominant. Performance by St. Pierre with a minute and a half remaining in the second. He continues to tee off on the challenger. Pressing very high up on the guard of Tiago Alves. Tiago is unable to do anything offensively from his back, so George is not worried about any submissions. He's unable to even attempt any sweeps, so George doesn't have to worry about that. All George has to worry about is him slippering away. He's got to worry about him getting up and getting back to his feet again. But so far, he's been able to control him. Uh, I'd like to see more GSP tired, fight Khabib. Alves has been training his jiu-jitsu with Fabiano Holanda, who worked with George St. Pierre for two years. He's he scrambled back to his feet. Up. Am I thinking about a comeback? Maybe some BKFC? No. He's been no, no. basically I'm good. keeping George's weight I'm very on top. good. I'm very good. Just doing this right here, hanging out. I love these streams. I want to build these streams. I want to make these streams explode. And coaching. Coaching wrestling. I'm going to miss wrestling tomorrow. This will be my first time my son's going to wrestle, and I'm not going to be there. It's going to be weird. But it's going to be awesome. Because I'll be here with all of you. So we'll all find out how he did together. You know what I mean? Tiago Alves is going to need to change things up. Yeah, man, that's the thing, Tucker. There was a time I actually did win fights, though, too, so I appreciate you. Though. So deliberate. One of the best trainers in the game today. Third round. Yeah, he's just excellent in all areas. Devising strategy. Huh? You shape shift in the hoop. Down in Get the back all that farmland, too, and then we call it a day. Yeah! St. Pierre looking to stick and move and weather what Jackson said will the be an early storm here in round three from the Brazilian. We'll get, we'll get, um, George caught a left hook right there, Mike. Get film of that. Good kick by St. Pierre to the midsection. Get film of what? Carson, he's going to go, I'll be here talking, I'm going to be here doing the watch along. He's going to be wrestling without me. It's going to be weird. But if, if any video that comes in, if, if AK Stu will help me, we'll set it up. I'll play it. So, well, I think we can show it. As long as I don't get, in, get anybody in trouble. Yo, what up, Aaron Sauce? How you doing? Tiago still a little hesitant to truly let go with the legs because of the successful takedowns of St. Pierre. I did fight Mark Sakurai, and it was wild because Mark Sakurai was one he took out the front of my eyeball, but I didn't get it. I didn't get a. I didn't get to do a timeout on it. We kept fighting, and then they ended up stopping the fight. He flurried on me, and I remember he got me with the body shot, and I went down. But it's a long. It'll go into a long story. But I kept. I had him. I dropped him twice, and then he hit my eye, and he took the. We we'll get into it later, but basically, without going a long story longer, he ended up taking off the front of my pupil. He took the front of my pupil off. And I was in the fight trying to block, and I kept going like this, and then he flurried on me, and I went down trying to move my head, and I jumped in the garden, and they stopped the fight. I was like, okay. And they stopped it, but then I had, and then I ended up going to the hospital and happened to get an eye patch, and just, it was, it was horrible. It was, it was unreal. Spend a meter with the Prime Sub. Much love and appreciation. All subs, go support AK News new shirt and tie. We got to dress this kid up, you know what I mean? 300 just around the corner. Suit and tie for Snoo. Fortaleza. What, what do you think about Weidman last week? I think Weidman did fine. He did fine. We have reached nearly the midway point of this championship. I know, Rima Bean. My eye injuries. It was horrible. It was terrible. 
My Tiago eye was, it was ripped, man. It hurt so bad. I thought there was just a stick in it. Was it? No. First of all, George is, is excellent at controlling him in here. And he, I don't think he wants to blow was, out too much energy. The blue one. Just defend. Save his energy. And then look to explode to try to get back to his feet. But again, this. Yeah, Mock was a tank. He was awesome. About I like it, Mock. I like it, Mock. He doesn't have to worry about being swept. He just has to worry about Tiago escaping and getting back to his feet, and which he's trying to do right now. He's exploding, and that's how he does it. He's back up to his feet. Oh, it was terrible. It hurt so bad. And like I said, I was telling the story the other day, and it was like they didn't give me anything to numb it. I had to fly all the way home, and every time I moved, my eyeball was like ripping a scab. It was, oh, oh, it hurt so bad. It was some of the most... It was uh, the, it was horrifying. The pain was and unreal. He's thus far, managed to avoid getting hit with too much, too much damage with the legs. Yeah, Ramabee, that was the one, right? Yo, what up, Nerdo? How you doing? Thanks, for okay. Thank you very here. much, man. The homies and I used to always cheer for you. I appreciate you. Sorry, I let you down. You know, on some of them, Saint but Pierce you know. Switches stances. Cheap. Looks up you remember the that one, Square? One yeah. Remains in the round. It was the blue one, King Carrot. The blue one. St. Pierre. Oh. Dancing around up on the toe. I feel like boo now. Look for a kick. Nice leg kick by Tiago Yeah. Alves. I had to be. You know what I mean? I had to be. I'm not the smartest. Just dumb. Oh, good, good kick. kick by George. Oh! oh Saint Pierre looking Look at GSP, out. man. 35 seconds remains in the third round. Tiago's hanging on for dear life here. What would I do to what would I do to stop eye pokes? It was kind of what we were talking about earlier. We kind of started the stream off with it. About eye pokes. And it just like we go back into it another time. But I just I think you would just you would make it like make it very, very punishable. So that you have to train it. So it's something you are thinking about literally at all times. Where are my hands? Where are my fingers? You know? We went, we went into it like, I think we talked about it for like 20 minutes in the beginning of the stream. You ain't, I'm not going back to that one. I caught wind on that one. So we're going to just go back and check it out. But we went ham on it. It was a hell of a conversation. I liked it. Right on. Probably down three rounds to none. And it was the, it's funny when you say that, bring back pride gloves, because it was the pride glove that damn near took my eyeball off. St. Pierre will look to stick and move early. Flow solo what? Mike, the real question... The gloves aren't great. You know that. Oh, no, I'm not saying that they are. But open gloves are open gloves. I'm just saying everybody keeps talking about, oh, they need to do the pride glove because the pride glove, it, it, it's nice and flat and keeps, makes you keep a fist. What was the ply? It was the pride glove that I got my eye. The worst eye damage I ever took was, from a pri was getting my eye poked. They were wearing pride gloves. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying anything. You have gloves that have your fingers are out. There's grappling. There's wrestling. There's it just it, there's a you know I mean what do you expect? You can't put them in boxing gloves. Grapple in boxing gloves. It sucks. George is in full mount and he's looking for an arm triangle on the right arm of Tiago Alves. What's that? Better gloves are available. Yeah, I'm, it, and again, more power to him. But you don't see too many eye pokes in bare knuckle. I'm just going to leave that there. You know, many have argued that Thiago's Saint trying Pierre to get Joe back to his feet. He's trying to scramble. Has moved to the top of the list. What's Stop my opinion on bare knuckle? Pound. I like bare knuckle. I mean, it, it's 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 a. It's, it's a lot of damage, and it's really quick. You know, that's the one thing. It's, it's I can't, again, I love the UFC. I love, I just love, but loving fighting. But bare knuckle, to me, is like, I just, my hands, I just, the thought of punching bare hand, ah, 
you know what I mean? But just taking one bare hand to the cheek, <laughs> you know, but it, I mean, it's definitely something. It's definitely something. Tiago's trying to land some punches from the top. And he's got some good effectiveness going with the ground and pound. Nearly two years, pardon me, but he's on his back for a substantial amount of time here right now. Midway point of the fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And that's because their hands are too swollen and bare knuckle. Probably. Pro I mean, probably. I, that's what I mean. I just think about it. My hands just start. Tiago trying to just, my knuckles are just like, please don't. Pierre. You know what I mean? Every time but we mention it's, it's bare knuckle, my hands like, please don't, don't. George. George is so crafty <laughs> don't do bottom. it. Don't you dare. See how he's blocking these punches. Turning, moving constantly. Yo, Flappy Pants with the give the sub love and appreciation. High. All subs are going to support AK Sue shirt and tie. We owe him one. Do you see Jim Miller's vid about eye pokes Joe, this is made before the... I didn't, no. I was going to say, that's the longest I remember maybe in his entire career... Do I want to see it? ...that I've seen GSP on his back. Yeah, I, I think you're right. But still, took almost no damage there. 90 seconds left in the fourth round. What? The perfect some gloves? Well, like I said, but again, the biggest thing is, above everything else, is, again, we just, you have to make it, like, look at, you just, you have to make it, you see this? See how Thiago, he's closing it up, he's keeping his hands curled, ready to punch. They're not, they're not out here. He's, look at, he's keeping his hands like this when he's not punching. He's not walking around doing this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Even GSP, keeping those hands open like this. But it's when these hands are out like this, like you have to be, it has to be you. It has to be something we do in training. Fingers, 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 fingers. We're going to, you got to make it where you, you, you're you up here going, man, you're going to get in a lot of trouble. Again, we talked about it earlier, but same reason why you don't see people getting kicked in the balls all the time. Because we train for it. Watch it, watch your legs, watch your feet, watch where you're kicking, watch where you're kicking. You know what I mean? We need to start doing that when it comes to fingers. Fangers, 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 fangers. It's like you, you're going to hit with the, it's the first time is so punishing that you make sure you are constantly wary of where your fingers are kind of deal. You know what I mean? Anyways, see, I said I wasn't going to get pulled into it. We're already back into that conversation. You're going to get me in trouble. Tiago's trying to pull away from it. He's got the hooks in. Are we going to see if AK looks? Yes, we'll get it. We'll get a picture of it for sure. And wind up in Georgia. Yes, I got kicked in the, I got kicked in the, yes, I almost lost my right testicle. He's going to make it to the fifth and final round, though. Here's what we could do, so we don't poke eyes. Here's what we could do. We could put him in boxing gloves and take away grappling. You're five minutes away from retaining your time. And takedowns. And clinching. And any kind of grabbing. And then we'll be good to go. Dangerous. Oh, wait, that'd be called boxing. Never mind. And to Tiago's credit, he has maintained <laughs> his power and his endurance deep into this fifth round, d despite, or into the fifth round, rather, despite the fact that he's dehydrated himself so much. I think stiffer penalties would, would stop a lot. So yeah. <laughs> if he did indeed hurt his groin, it's going to make it tough to explode for the takedown. Right hand by Tiago landed, which is exactly Or kickboxing. Joe, Thank you. Yes, Jonathan. Kickboxing. Kickboxing. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. No, that. Now imagine that. Just imagine. Imagine one eye poke. And you're told this in the locker room. One eye poke. And you're DQ'd. Imagine. Imagine. You would be going, you would, you would keep your, your hands. <laughs> Those things would be like, they'd be so tight. <laughs> it would just be, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? I ain't letting them out. That was a knuckle. That was a knuckle. You know what I mean? What do I think of slap fighting? I think, I mean, it's, it's very entertaining, but I just, oof, it's just not my, it is just not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? Feet, but George's got a I just couldn't stand there. I got punched enough when I was trying to move around and block punches. I couldn't stand there and see who could hit each other harder. I just, for me, but again, more power to the ones that do. I just could not sit there and wait for you to smack me. It just, no, I didn't, no, you know, no, I, I couldn't do it. No, you know. <laughs>
After the long time domination of the welterweight division by Matt Ooh. Hughes. See, Tiago still got that kick though. Or yeah, you could do you could do 50% and then DQ. First eye poke, 50% of your purse. Second eye poke, DQ. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know. Make it so severe that you train every day. I'm not sure, you know? Nice leg kick by Tiago, and immediately George goes for the takedown. And again, down. Unbelievable, Joe. Just unbelievable. Yeah, his wrestling is just so good. I mean, we talked about it before. He had a chance to What year was your accident about your iPhone? Team. Oh, good Lord. You're making me go back in time. I can't even, was it 2007, 2008, something, yeah, maybe? I don't that. know. No high school wrestling, no college, straight 2006, down the maybe? <laughs> Eight total takedowns oh. in this fight. I don't go that far back. I, I'm going to do something that AK Snoo is going to love. I mean, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. I barely remember yesterday. He just turns over, even gives his back, and just gets to his feet, like right there. <laughs> That's just power ah, inside I don't know. under two minutes. I mean, the fact that Tiago can do that to <laughs> such a great grappler like George just shows you how strong that kid really is. Okay. The great heart of a warrior, the Brazilian, fighting till the end. Hey, look at that. Chapter, the Brazilian, fighting. Boom, this good into the fifth. Till the end. There's no okay. It's a route, Mike. It really is a route. I mean, this kid is so good. Oh, how do you think what Joe Rogan would have done in MMA UFC? Oh, I think he'd have been just fine. I mean, you don't think if he would, if he took it serious, you know what I'm saying? If he took it like, and he was going to start fighting, the extra he would go through, he's already damn good. You know what I mean? He already knows enough. He already trains enough, but he's been a part of this game it's re I didn't realize until, like I said, we started going through all the old on on the Twitch stream. We went through UFC one all the way through. He's been here for he's been here for ever. Joe Rogan has been a part of this for a long, 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 long time. It's crazy. Final minute, forty four seconds to go here. Speak of oh, yeah. George in Tiago's half guard. And again, as we mentioned in between rounds, he, he does have a wounded groin muscle. So he, he may be content to just ride this out. The French Canadian. George Rush St. Pierre. Yeah, 2007 might be right. Yeah. Is going to defend his welterweight title for the third time and extend his winning streak to six. I think UFC, UFC 8 or something. He was interviewing people in the back, he was doing interviews Saint or something. Pierre distance wow and he will remain the welterweight champion i think he's indicating to his corner that he hurt his groin in the third round mike you like the, what's that? Oh, let me see this one. Jimmy Graham. Well, unless we heard That's a good it, idea. I think fighters know. should be judges more. Yeah. Ooh, really, I like I mean, it. Now he's limping. See, what I've been for, and I don't think people really would like it, but I wouldn't mind, and again, for accountability reasons only, live scoring. Just so you know, you can see it. George immediately takes him down, and that was really the story of the fight, Mike. Just took him down over and over again. Just used that superior wrestling and excellent timing. This is the end of the fight. He, he gets up, and you, you can clearly see he's injured. But he gutted it out, and... GSP! Outstanding performance by George St. Pierre. Well, the heart and the adrenaline took over. St. Pierre, ripped groin or not, is going to have that belt placed right back around his waist. The pit bull defeated by the champion here tonight. Great effort by Tiago Alves, but GSP is clearly the best in the world.
Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Adelaide Burr scores the contest 50-45. Douglas Crosby has it 50-44. And Marcos Rosales scores it 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the UFC Walter Wade Champion of the World, George Ooh, Rush. Rush St. Pete. I like it, it. All right. So now, Jim Miller and Gomi, 200. Here we go. Sanchez and Lazone, Velasquez and Brown, Aldo and Edgar. Look at all these. All right. One of the longest tenured fighters in the UFC, Jim Miller has been battling the best for years. And tonight, he faces Japanese superstar. Yo, what up, Rome? Taka Rome K. How you doing, Rome? You good? An icon of Japanese MMA. Former Pride champion Takanori Gomi has thrilled UFC fans since 2010. Whether it was fight of the night battles with Mac Dancing. No, you're good, Isaac Raven. I'm busy. Or crushing knockouts of Tyson oh. Griffin and E.G. Mitsuoka. Tonight. The Fireball Kid returns to Las Vegas for the first time since 2011 to take on Jim Miller. A respected veteran who is closing in on the UFC record for most wins in the lightweight division, the blue collar Miller is prepared to bite down on his mouthpiece and work for all 15 minutes to get the victory over Gomi. Coming up next, the Fireball Kid. Takanori Gomi meets Jim Miller. Japan's best 37 years old. Everything else is virtually identical. Let's check in with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer and a wrestler, holding a professional record, 35 wins, 11 losses, one no contest. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the former Pride Grand Prix and lightweight champion, the Fireball Kid, Takanori Go! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional record, 25 wins, 8 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Sparta, New Jersey, Jim Miller. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Smith. So Mark Smith, our referee for the first fight of this historic UFC 200 event. Jim Miller, Takanori Gomi. Ooh, look at that cat. Look at that canvas, though. Look at that canvas. Takanori ready. Jim ready. Fight's on. Here we go. Red trunks for Gomi, blue and black trunks for Miller. Southpaw. I like this. I like Southpaw. this. And you will notice that Takanori Gomi has a very unusual striking style. Keeps his hands very low and throws wild, looping shots. He was a former baseball pitcher and has a similar delivery in the way sometimes he throws his punches. But they just play at the same time. That's crazy. Okay. From really awkward angles. Jim Miller. A really, really talented grappler. Lots of submission finishes, but he'll stand and trade with anybody. Ooh, We've seen that what, many times. Yeah, they're going to do gold again? What, what you see from Gomi is he gets very flat-footed, and he gets very wide, and he really depends and relies upon that power. Miller, is it. Yeah, good shot by Miller. Miller's got his back. This is terrible for Gomi. Miller is very, very good on the ground. 14 career Can he get ketchup all over the mustard Jim ring? Miller, <laughs> he's a very high-level ground game specialist, uh. and also Fabricio Camoins. He was a Hoyler Gracie black belt, so he's got real ground game skills, real jujitsu skills. I think they he's might the do red. With great control. See how he's utilizing his legs here, Mike? Really clamping down on the legs of Gomi to maintain this position. 
a little high on the back. Maybe he'd like to scoot back a little bit. But where Gomi is right now, he's trying to just control his body and make sure Gomi doesn't Little shake him off the top. attacks the arm. Trained smart. And that is that's the that secret sauce, gentlemen. I like it. He's got, he's got that big four body lock now, though. Back. And he's got his arm around the neck of Takanori Gomi. Takanori has got plenty of time. He fight past you, too. Fight past you, too. With a guy like Jim Miller. Jim Miller is an expert at closing the show once he's got huh? Oh, okay, block. never mind. And Joe, this is one of his best positions. We've seen this throughout his UFC career. He's got the hands clamped together. Gomi's in big trouble now. But Gomi's got to really fight those hands. And as he does, Miller just sinks him in the other way. Also, look if Miller may, may decide at one point in time to engage his legs and try to trap one of Gomi's arms and his legs, Ooh. giving up the body triangle if he doesn't feel like he could get past the defense without it. Now he's got a flat. Oh, down. big shots. Oh, Gomi's great in big position. Trouble. Oh, these are big shots. Miller. Miller. That's it. Miller. End this fight right here, right now. Gomi. Gomi. That's it. Hit it all over. Jim Miller. Finishes Takanori Gomi. Beautiful, beautiful performance by Jim Miller. We saw excellent back control, beautiful grappling. Dang. Dang. Let's take a look at the takedown first. He catches the kick, takes him to the ground, immediately gets on his back, and then you see that razor sharp back control by Jim Miller. Just did a fantastic job. Of controlling the position. What? What BJZ built? Looks I've got a white belt. Once he got him flattened out, he said he's just going to pound him out here. I've got a white so belt. Just ferocious ground and pound from Ooh. the top Ooh. and put Takanori Gomi away. Ooh. 15th career victory inside the octagon for Jim Miller. His brother Dan. Hum a right the eye. Corner of one of New Jersey's finest. Miller with the victory, Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by TKO, Jim Miller! Look at that suit. Look at that jacket. Huh, if you have your... Yeah, no, I never got... I never did belts. I don't know... You know what I mean? I don't know. If you ask UFC fans, what fight... See how I did it correctly? I didn't copy and paste or anything. ...could steal this historic show. All signs huh? point to action I guess you're purple at least. I got gold belts. Say UFC champion the on them. ultimate yeah. fighter winner, Diego Sanchez, is still going strong more than 11 years later after that seminal moment. And tonight... He faces New England action hero Joe Lozon in a lightweight bout that many believe will be a fight of the year candidate. Fighting Diego Sanchez is awesome because he's one of those guys I've been looking up to since the Ultimate Fighter 1, and I'm glad I get to test myself against him. Everybody knows that Joe's got a huge heart, I got a huge heart, and we're not going to play patty cakes, we're not going to try to play tag, and we're going to go in there and we're going to try to take each other out. One of the top post-fight bonus winners in UFC history, New England's Joe Lozon has won three of his last five Chance bouts. Chance watched Brendan Schaub flip his truck. We want to see reaction. Why is he all right? And with like, his grappling game I'm not going to react. Instincts, he's confident huh? that he will add to his mental <laughs> You want to see me react? <laughs> <the nightmare. laughs> I'm motivated to win this fight. It's always about sacrifice. It's Let's go, sacrifice Joe! If I have to bleed in the cage, I will. Yeah, oh, right, gents. Like... Welcome, Joe Zone. Joe Zone welcomes me. The best of the with best an overhand. The from middleweight he to welcomed me back. And the Albuquerque native is still going strong at 34 years old. That was old. me coming back, too. The I hadn't been in the UFC. The winner most recently kicked off the latest chapter of his storied career at 150. How much is a UFC belt worth, gents? Well, I would say it would almost be priceless. Saying at one point that like, it's everything you put together to become the UFC world champion, to become to to man, you in the history books for the rest of your life as a champ.
You know, I don't know. The belt itself, who knows? But just to be the UFC champion, I like that. You know, I like that name. I think it's cool. Huh. Maybe we we'll go ten dollars. Ten dollars. When you've seen Diego fight before, especially in fights like the Martin Campman fight, third round, his face is literally hanging off. He's a mask of blood, and he's not taking a I just give him away. Back. You can have him. That is Diego Sanchez. He's a madman. From yoga Cody T.S. I do, Cody. To tonight, Diego Sanchez. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight battle. 34-year-old Sanchez, 32-year-old Lozon. We're like Everything the name, I think, is it's cool with identical 40 Let's bucks check in with Bruce Buckley. 40 bucks and a and a, and a like, three rounds in the I UFC guess lightweight division introducing first fighting out of the blue corner a mixed martial artist holding professional record 20 to be the wins, first 12 losses Dude, he's I like five that. feet 10 inches tall weighing in at 156 pounds fighting out of Bridgewater Massachusetts Joe I've got him over here and my hall, one of my brother, I have my family has one. One's at the Hall of Fame, and my family have two. And in mine, it's autographed by the Rockies over here by the Hall of Fame trophy. Yeah. Weighing at 155 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the ultimate. It's pretty damn heavy. Season one winner. I'm good, Cody. No complaints. Just watch the fights, and then tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be early. Yeah, at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be doing the watch along here on Fight Pass YouTube, and of course, taking this one, Diego Sanchez, Joe Lozano. I lost all my medals as a wrestler and stuff. All stuff's gone. I got no here idea. we go. Blue trunks for Diego. Southpaw stance, black trunks, or Joe Rosa. I thought he is fighting again. I thought Jose Aldo is fighting again. Is he not? Diego with the kick to the body early. 24th UFC fight for Sanchez over the top. Diego landed a little uppercut there as well. Jim Miller fought for his 23rd time in the UFC earlier tonight and won a nice win here on Fight Pass. I thought he was talking about it. He was talking about it, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm... I'm just... It'd be cool to see him. Look at Lazar. Look at him. Look at him. What? Caught him with that uppercut now. Possible submission attempt. Oh! Diego is up. Diego Look at Joe. But Excellent. He, he you rock smoking up. profit. Being very accurate here. Oh, oh! Look at him. Diego's not missing. Like, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Like. Okay. What? What? Again. Oh! Punishment. Boom. Boom. Then he's gonna wake him up with the uppercut. Boom! <laughs> Boom! What? Look at him, even he's looking away. Even he's looking away. His mouthpiece is out, he's out on his feet. Oh, he's not even up. Dang, come on, don't, you gotta stop that. That was, I didn't realize. Damn, Joe. I didn't know, this. damn, Joe. I didn't know he did that. I didn't know he did that. I'm gonna say it again. Damn, Joe. What a performance by Joe Lozon. That was sensational. When you when you watch Diego Sanchez fight and you see some of the wars that he's been in, it makes it even more impressive. The way Joe Lozon was able to take him out in that first round. Dude, that was nuts. I mean, just accurate, precise. He was, he didn't miss. He didn't miss. By Joe Lozon. 12. Most finishes in UFC history. That's the 12th. Dietro Belver got the most. Joe Lozon. And then and Matt Hughes got 13. Frank Muir got 13. That was one of the most impressive of his career for sure. And especially considering who he just stopped. I mean, Diego's notoriously durable. 
Here's the first ah, one. Left. He cracks him with that left hand, and Diego's in all sorts of trouble there. He's trying to recover. Ah, with the right. He's reaching for Joe. Joe grabbed a hold of the guillotine there for a moment and teed off here. Here's a left hand. Here's Jeff, the will the producers the that are watching over this stream ever nice consider a pure Q&A stream? What do you right, mean? A left, that left hand perfectly on the button. Just swarmed on him here. And he knew he was in trouble here. I'm doing it right now. Had seen enough and rescues Diego from any further punishment. Just tremendous performance by Joe Lozon. Joe Lozon finishes Diego Sanchez. Damn, Logan. Joe! In the fight, in the first round, here is Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Joe Lozon. Damn, Joe. You know what I mean? Huh? I want to ask you a million questions without a distraction of another fight happening. I'm sure many other fans do as well. No, I don't, because I pause. That's why I'm, see, that's why I'm called the pause king, because I pause and talk the whole time. Right now, the two in the back going, please don't. Please don't do it, Jens. Don't you just roll with it. Stop, because sometimes I just get into my feels, and we'll just talk for half an hour. People that have been with me from the beginning, love and appreciation. All of you, those of you that are new to this stream will know that, oh, damn, he really does. He just stops and talks to everybody. He can't help it. You know why? Because you're taking your time out of the day to come in here and talk to me. So it's the least I can do. But I mean, if we're going to get into story time, then yes, if you on the Twitch stream, we can do, we can pick a day. We can definitely pick a day and have a sit back and, and chat. But then watch. I'll like, we'll put something aside and five people are going to show up and there'll be like seven questions. So no, that's why I'd rather do it like this. Trick you all in here to think we're going to watch fights and then make me just pause and talk the whole time. Yes. I'm in. <laughs> all right, let us continue on. Nice job, Joe. Again, I want to thank Fight Pass. Ooh, you know what? Real quick, check this out. I want to thank Fight Pass for putting together this list. This has been a, this is kind of a cool change. Again, we're so built up. We're watching UFC 100, UFC 200, and the build up for UFC 300. And speaking of 300, I got a little commercial that we can look. I'm gonna pause. And give you this. Check this out. Promo, pal. Assembled. That is what UFC 300 is gonna be. Are you kidding me with these prelims? You know it's gonna be all action. Any fight on the prelims of this card could be a main event. People are never going to forget. Live on UFC Fight Pass. Huh? No, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> Tucker makes sounds. No, we can do it. Of course, we can do it. We can chat. It's not a big, it's, it's, we can chat. It'll get there. I just want to be known as... You got to do a little bit of both. You know what I mean? A little bit of both. The classic Mexican See, that's fight. why I'm learning how to be the mute king as well. With a lot of heart. We're always going forward. We throw exciting fights. We're always tough guys when we got there and fight. That's what I want to be remembered. A UFC title would solidify the fact that I'm as crazy as I think I am. How can you not respect my power? How can you, you not You think respect Garbrock and respect K.O. I think they both have the power crazy. punches for sure, right? Cain Velasquez, the former UFC heavyweight champion, is one of the greatest heavyweight fighters that's ever lived. Beautiful technical Muay Thai. Cain Velasquez, though. Cain Velasquez. Now Cain has an opportunity. Who's the to what? The hardest puncher that I ever faced. Again well, everybody that knocked me out was pretty hard. Title. You know what I mean? They hit pretty hard. But like I said, I tell everybody the same thing. Bozo Pauling hit me the Brown. hardest because Travis I was awake. Brown is an incredibly explosive and agile heavyweight. Uh. He moves very quickly and he is capable of exploding out of nowhere. And I literally remember Superman thinking, damn, Drew. these punches hurt so bad if you look at the when he was hitting me because they were like leaving these knuckle bumps on the back of my, on the side of my head. And I remember in the middle of the fight thinking, I can't believe that punch didn't just knock me out. <laughs> That's why I remember it. I was like, I can't believe that one didn't knock me out. It hurt so bad. 
Yo, thanks for your effort. Yo, love and appreciation, Dave. How you doing, Dave? Love from the UK. Appreciate you. It's got to be pretty late. So you up. So love and appreciation. Velasquez and Brown look at the height difference. He's going to go with 6'7". Six, 6'7". Six, seven. Seven. Travis Five Brown is 6'7". Than the former champion, but... I didn't realize he was that tall. You know what I mean? But no, that's why. So I remember Bozo Pauling thinking that hurt. That one hurt pretty bad. Like, oof, that one hurt. You know what I mean? And then beating BJ the first time, was it, it felt good. Real good. Because I got to... I maintained my title and I got to be the... I was the best. Pound Pound, one of the best fighters to ever do it because he was, Pound Pound, one of the scariest fighters to ever show up. And I beat him. There was a time I was nasty. Ooh, 149 AM. Man, Dave, thank you for hanging out. All of you over there across the pond. Yeah, y'all, you my UK love. I appreciate y'all. Love to the UK and across the pond. Thank y'all for staying up as late as y'all. I'll quit pause. See, that's the other reason why I can't pause too much because we got people staying up late just to watch. And then I'm just waiting for somebody to go, dude, stop pausing the effing video and shut your mouth. You know, because that happens once or twice. Yeah. But, yeah, so no, um, what feels better? Getting a clean KO or a submission? Clean KO is, to the liver is the greatest thing ever. There's nothing like a liver shot. Period. Period. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, what I was pausing for. I can't believe, Travis, I didn't realize Travis Brown was 6'7". Man. That's crazy. But see, the other thing was how good Uno was in the first place. Uno. And then you look up Ruman Asato and then know, and know that Uno beat him twice. You want to see somebody so far ahead of their time in submission game? Look up Ruman Asato. I dare you. You'll never see nothing like it. To this day, you won't see transitions like that. You won't see somebody go from, from arms to legs to ankle locks to back up to jumping flying triangles. You won't see anybody to this day can do what Ruman Asado was doing all the way back then. Look him up. You'll thank me later. Let us continue. Just a two-inch reach advantage. Weight almost identical. Let's get it going. Here is Bruce Buffett. Oh. Yes, Mighty Mouse now. Because Mighty Mouse is, yeah. But I'm, I'm talking about for the era. Look him up and you'll see. You'll never see nothing like it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are... From the team mobile arena, you should ask to be in UFC Vegas 5. UFC Are we on UFC 4? Tank versus Nunes. Or UFC, what UFC we Presented on? By Bud Light. Raise one to one right now. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. How you spell that? R-U-M-I-N-A, Rumina Sato, S-A-T-O. A mixed martial artist holding professional record. 18 wins, three losses, one draw. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 244 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the number seven ranked heavyweight contender. 100% Tucker, you can't, see, you need to just come over here and hang out. Welcome to the stream. You're going to love it here. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet two inches tall. What? Can you ask Dana for one more fight? I think you still got it. No. My wife would go nuts. I want to do a boxing match. Two UFC Mod 2, can we do one more fight? The there you go. Came. Yo, what up, Dan Mijo? <laughs> Mary Widow, what? I watch Jens for his comments and reactions. They're not that crazy. Iconic referee, Big John McCarthy. Kane Velasquez. Travis Brown and UFC fans, let your voice be heard. Tell us who you think is winning. Each Where did you get Mary? At UFC on Twitter. All it takes is one. What? Where did I get? Where did I get? Huh? Maybe where did I get married? Click to vote on how you're scoring the fight. See all. The I don't want to box Rampage. Not. Here we go. I love Rampage. Well, that's that's my guy. No, trunks. I'll be 170 Travis pounds though. Trunks. Six, seven. Former basketball player. Oh! Big shot early. Big clean right hand by Travis. Fight me, I promise Perfect I'll go easy on you. All right. For sure. I just had somebody else do the same thing. 
Edmund Tarverdian saying you know he's married to Mary. No, I'm married to, to Kanika. No worries. Immediate pressure as we expected by Kane, but that was a brilliant counter punch by Travis. Kane with a couple of jabs. What's my record in the UFC? Well, it was good at one point before it became terrible when I decided to go on a losing streak. Travis Brown has really worked hard on his ground. Look at Kane, though. with Ricky Lundell, Neil Lonson a ton. Kane goes up high. Nice knee to the body by Travis. Yo, Phony Turgeson, how you doing? Happy, happy. How you doing? Happy Friday. With a couple punches in the clinch. Velasquez and huh, my wife going to be like, no, she won't. Night, which means they put themselves in the same position and really drained each other at times mentally and physically so they could peak together. Tonight. See, like, why the heck they call me Mary? I don't know. They're making it up. Maybe that's where I got married. Cardio came, starting to go to work in the clinch. Now they break. Joy! You considered Rockford? Kane just has unbelievable cardio for a heavyweight. Really, just incredibly unusual. Yeah. The pace of so the game. But it's one. also because of the efficiency of his technique. You, you never see Rockford, Illinois. Coming from way back. I didn't fight Clay Greeter so now. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Very efficient. <laughs> striking dynamics. What did my wife, has my wife, no, oh, Lord, no, no, in fact, no, no, in fact, the opposite happened, and she went, what, yeah, she, mm. amazing, that is amazing, good combination by Kane, no, I didn't know if it was Rockford, or if it was a suburb, a, another suburb up there, you never know, man, if we're in, if we're in, um, Oh, for crying out loud, what is the other? Um, I don't even want to try to say what it is. But it was Rockford. Yo, good evening from Spain. Iliotopia. Okay, we got to pause real quick because this is awesome. Two, is Iliotopia good? Yeah. Yeah, Ilya's real good. Real good. Look at that spinner. Oh, look at him. Travis moved out of that. Oh, oh the right hand. He's still not there. On top. Big ground and pound. Landed two big bombs at least there. He's passing over that. I, just, I recently he started learning to box at age 39. It's fun, though. Job. You Keep know it. Place. That's perfect. Yeah. A friendly pest. That's moving. awesome. Never too late. Never too late to learn how to move. <laughs> Never too late. That underhook. On the right side, is going to try to get back up, but Kane is really working to pin him down here. Look at the total strikes. And Velasquez continues with the ground and power. Still a ton of time to work. Nine who do you think will, who, who do you think will beat Islam Makachev in the lightweight division? Oh, I already said it. Kane's got his face. I've already said it. And Travis, one more time getting those He's one fight away. He's one fight away from getting that rematch. And Kane shuts him right back down. Good control by Velasquez. Travis almost back up, and Kane drives him to the ground again. What's that, Kane Chip? Do I play video games? I'm still playing a lot of Fortnite. That's my thing, man. It, it's my biggest game is is uh, Fortnite. Belt against Brock he basically tore his and Shrouded just got, they got that new update. And then Helldiver's been cool. Me and AK Snoo get to play some Helldiver. I got to get back into some PUBG maybe. But, um, you know what I mean? I got to get into some PUBG. Oh, we got to bring a left. But for the most part, I really like, I like my Fortnite. Look at it. Cain Velasquez is doing spinning high kicks to get to a guy that's 6'7". And I mean, why not? Why not? You're Cain Velasquez. What? I love him. Oh, Ooh, but Chavez let that left hand go. Uh, I'm a, huh? Do I play on PC? I built my PC. Yeah, that's my PC game. And then Charles Oliveira is who, is who Armand's fighting next. Yes. Hard left hook. Play that. What? Cain. Again, 
What's my favorite video game that isn't that popular? Good first round for Velasquez. Snoo, what's that game that had me just dying with the, the little jello dudes that are trying to throw each other off every gang beast? And Brown Look at him, man. Brown is trying to hurt him with his elbow. Uppercut. Nice knee to body by Kane. Good first round for Velasquez. Oof. And Brown gang beast. Almost. Effects. We played that one day. Oh, my Lord. To this day, that's the greatest seconds. game ever. I never yeah, laughed so hard playing a game ever. We played it a couple times. I was done. World of Warcraft for the win. Well, that's, I'm a, I was a uh, grand marshal. I had to walk away from that. Short time, short time. Oh! With the short time, he got the fight again. What? What? Crypto's the way to go. Will UFC 5 be on sale for UFC 300 week? I don't know, will it? Will UFC 5 be on sale for... So, I might be... I might be weird. Because I'm, I'm a PC gamer. But will UFC 5 be on sale for UFC 2? Like, so what are we on right now? UFC 4? Well, What's my favorite UFC old school win. game in the arcade? I was just playing it the other day. Miss Pac-Man. Right Unless they try some bullshit and make Pac Miss Pac-Man way too slow and the ghost too fast. Or the other way around, though, when Miss Pac-Man can, can fly, when Pac-Man's got, she can, she's moving, yeah, I can play that. I'll be that junior level quick. You know what I mean? For sure. And here's something we never see from Kane. Oh, Real the spin. Kicks, not just one, but two in that round. Really showing all sorts of New attacks, but beautiful, accurate striking. Look at this Baby, right just because you Boom, moved over chat doesn't way. mean I'm going to say anything different. Swarm I said right. Wing. Ducked under there, got him to the ground. And this is the beginning of the end for Kane Velasquez. They should have a special deal for UFC 300. No UFC 5 has, oh, it has been out. Okay, just making sure crypto's way to go. Really PC gamers want UFC for PC, yes. And what we want is we want it to be more like World of Warcraft meets UFC where you can travel around. You have to do different, you got to do quests every day so you can level up and stuff like that. Then you have to travel and you have to travel to different um, zones and different areas, Thailand to work on feet and stuff like that, different gyms to train at. And then you get to put together teams and then you fight against other teams at, you know, have one at each weight class, like dual matches. And then you put the finals have the finals at International Fight Week of the UFC. You know what I mean? Something like that. A classic Cain Velasquez beatdown. Cain Velasquez scoring his 10th knockout inside the octagon. That's like Street Fighter? Well, there you go. Him ahead to number one. Let's do it. Andre Arlovsky with nine. Most knockouts in UFC history. You gotta make you gotta make money so you can go to the gym. Then you got it. So then maybe if you win enough fights, you can travel over to Japan or Thailand or different gyms and stuff. Make guilds. Yeah, you'd make guilds like clans or whatever you'd call it. Make teams, and then you'd have your own your ongoing little fight teams, and then you put together your team, one at each weight class, and go battle other teams. Let's go online. Then you get the final teams, big tournament. And then the winner gets to go sit cage side and watch the fights. Boom. Overall, Done. Vito 12. Anderson will fight later tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Kane Velasquez. Nice job, Kane. Love it. I mean, that it, it'd be fun, wouldn't it? All right. Jose Aldo, unbeaten for over a decade. What's your best recommendation for healing a disc injury in my back? I know you probably dealt with injuries a lot, so I figured, well. One, how bad is the injury? If you need to replace it, is it shattered? 
If it's just an injury, the biggest thing would be ice, heat, ice, heat, ice, heat, stretching, stretching. Nasci para ser o campeão. E vou ser o campeão de novo. For Jose Aldo, the good news is he has an opportunity to group now against Frankie Edgar for the interim title. If he can beat Frankie, it sets him up. No, I'm just saying, I don't want to say to go out there and work out if like your disc is shattered. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, dude, you told Jen told me to go work out when his disc is broken. No, I'm just saying if you're injured and you're sore and you're dealing with that, I mean, stretching, you know, warm it up, make sure you're stretching. Make sure you ice it for inflammation, heat to get the blood flowing back and forth. If you look at the way he skillfully outpointed Uriah Faber, if you sleep the on the floor, they call it the corpse Chad pose. In one round, Frankie Edgar is one of the best pound for pound fighters on the planet Earth today. I think when I, me and Aldo fought three years ago, that was the best Aldo. I think now when we fight, he's going to see the best Frankie. Eu levo uma diferença muito grande nele, ou na velocidade, na explosão, onde ele quiser lutar, eu estou muito à frente dele ainda. Starting over, which is good, smoking probably like starting, yeah, as long as you just and rebuilding it. Since I lost it back in 2012, I've been thinking nothing but of being a champion again. And to say that I will win the fight and that I will pay the amount of money. What's up? Thanks for being so positive, gents. Oh, of course, man. Other MMA streams can be so toxic and negative. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? That's why we don't do that, and that's why everybody that comes in here they don't do it either because. I mean, it's nothing but love and appreciation. There's no reason to be toxic. What's, what do you need? What, what's, that, what's that do? You know what I mean? It, it, yeah. So, no, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you coming in, as always. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your time. Share the word. If you like the place, that's all we're trying to do is build it, build it, build it, and build it. So, yeah, no, I appreciate you. Twenty-nine years old. Jose Aldo will have a slight reach advantage. For the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is five rounds. Five rounds. For the interim UFC featherweight What do I think about Shamaya versus Whitaker? The world. Whitaker's, a, Whitaker's a watch-along brother, so you know I'm, it's always rooting for him. Fighter, holding a professional record. 19 wins, four losses. The King of Rio returns, and he rightfully makes top billing in a new poster for UFC 301. So, see, he, is, he, is that for real? He is coming back. Joe Seldon is in 301. I, don't, don't toy with me. Because I swear, I told you, I swear I said he was fighting. One draw. He stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 144 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River. Well, I got you, Tucker. Much love. Appreciate you, appreciate you, yes. Yo, what up, Dugan? How you doing, Crash? You good? Yo, Nicholas, what up, Nicholas? Michaels, how you doing, my friend? You good? Fight past YouTube! Ah, I love it. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of the Well, I love you too. It's all good, Tucker. Hey, man, this is my favorite too. WEC featherweight champion and the former UFC. I told him, mate. Oh, yeah, you don't even want to know what I said about this kid. Featherweight contender in the world, Jose Aldo All right, y'all watch this real quick, man. I gotta go back to the bathroom. Me and I drink too much water. It's just yes. See you in a second. Listen to me, all times. Keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves. Let's do this. Jose Aldo is all about business right now. Yeah, he is very intense. This is a very, very important fight for him. You have to consider the fact that he went on this amazing unbeaten streak, only to lose in devastating fashion with a first round knockout. He wants retribution. Interim title on the line in the featherweight division. Here we go! Tonight's fight clock 
Brought to you by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. Aldo in the Brazilian colors. Frankie Edgar in the black trunks. Aldo, dynamic, and he has vicious kicks. Yeah, that right kick in particular is just devastating. The Uriah Faber fight is probably the best example of that. He's some of the best leg kicking in the game, and Frankie opens up with a leg kick of his own. Frankie, great movement, great hands, durable, and dangerous. More dangerous, Joe, than ever. Aldo said he went back to his Muay Thai roots for this fight. What's well, interesting, because we've noted before that Aldo has an amazing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game, but you very rarely see it in his fights because his striking is so lethal. The first matchup was Frankie Edgar's featherweight debut at UFC 156. Fight of the night three and a half years ago, Aldo by unanimous decision. What a great fight. Five five-minute rounds. Ninety seconds in. Ton of mutual respect. Yeah, these guys oh, went to war. Oh, yeah. And it was a very close fight before. And Frankie believes that he is just a much better fighter now than he was then. But you're dealing with an incredibly motivated Aldo right now. Frankie said he felt, Joe, that he fought the best Jose Aldo the first time. And he believes that he's the best Frankie Edgar tonight. Time will tell. And also, we need to find out and see psychologically where Aldo's at. Absolutely. He, right now he's performing very well, but that's a devastating thing to come back from. It was a nice combination by Frankie. Mentally, you need to weather an early storm or two and realize that you're back. I to will not back. reach out to Joe back. Rogan. That's weird. Brazilian colors on the trunks. Of Jose okay. Aldo, the design of the UFC fight kit shorts maintains the original silhouette. While if you all reach out to Joe Rogan, then we'll the go that way. It's weird. Through a celebration of national pride. This When's Connor fighting? I don't know. He's back. A lot of movement by Frankie. A lot of fainting. Just really not allowing Jose to set up on him, particularly with that right, right. leg kick, which was a devastating weapon in their first fight. Aldo hasn't thrown hardly any of them, if if any, so far. Oi! Look at this nice. Look at that nice there. single. Tried to, but then Jose gets out of it. I like that. Okay, gents, give me He's Joe's number. I don't have it. Been throwing a lot of have I? Have I been on the Rogan fight? No. On that left leg of Jose mm -hmm. Aldo. It's been a while. Since Frankie, in fact, the last fight with Aldo, since Frankie fought for the title. I still got to get out there and do the Jackson podcast with Quinton. Five round main events. Aldo, of course, has been in five round fights throughout his UFC Nail bombs, career. I love That's it. I love it. Combination there by Frankie. He's catching Aldo's chin up. And Aldo's got to be careful of that as he pulls away what? those exchanges. What? You drink the body armor? He's not stopping with one or two. Drink it when you work out? Combinations and catch them on the end. Hey, Jen, Dean Thomas and Matt Sarah were on Rogan this week. I know your time is coming sooner than later. Yeah, right. Whatever. I did see him on there, though. Jen, what? How old am I? I'm old, man. We're probably close to the same age. Me? No, I'm 49. I'm about to be 50. He's got to establish that right kick. They both went for a kick at the same <laughs> I'm about time to be 50 there. years both old, man. Right hand by Aldo. Good right hand. Clean. I know. I just got it, but it's getting on a plane. It's getting on a plane is the problem. Frankie with a wrestling pedigree. Total strikes. I got to do the, um, it's getting on the plane. Final 30 seconds of the round. Oh, there you go. Nice the oh, nice knee. Look how fast Arnie he throws that knee, though. Was. And it was a knee that finished Chad Mendez. I liked it. Yeah. Chad yeah, the Jackson Pockets. Look at those knees. Look how fast he is. Okay, hold on. Just. Okay, just. 
Just watch this. Watch this scramble from Joe Saldo. Avoids the oh, big shot. Good kick to the body by Aldo. It's been a minute Frank since I've talked to, uh, to Terrell. Yeah, it's been a minute. Quarter Cam brought to you by Hudson Shipping. Transporting innovation. That's insanity. Perfect round. That's insanity. What, how fast he was able to do that. That's just not full sprawl back up swinging. <laughs> just, what? And it was perfect. The knees are going to start to go in. He's going to try to go to your legs. Your crosses are landing. That's what everyone said. Your crosses are landing. I just need you when he steps back. <laughs> Look at that. Catch that. Try to come back with that kick. Oh! Aldo catching Frankie running in. Edgar, the lightweight champion. My Logitech? What? From 2010 to 2012, three title defense. Seven UFC title defense at featherweight for Jose Aldo. And the knees came late. Jumping Edgar Superman Roy, hook? I'm very curious to see what adjustments, if any, Frankie's going to make in the second round. If Aldo really started to find a home for both the right hand and that knee to oh, the body. Oh, there was a time. Obviously like, this is when Jose's not even really messing with the, the leg kick. Like he was. He's kind of boxing now. He's letting Frankie kick him. Yo, Matthew, how you doing, man? Happy Friday to you as well. The moment when Aldo went into the stands in Brazil. Just such a great moment for him. Oy! And the Nova Liga team. I still remember when Frankie shocked the world. Beating Ooh, BJ Kingdom. To win the belt. Frankie's been having some good success with leg kicks, and it's yep. kind of interesting because we really haven't seen any from Jose. Nor has he attempted to check any of them. Yeah, and, but that is, that is his forte. Yeah. And when he opens up on them, they're de devastating. I'm wondering if he went to a strategy of avoiding the kicks because Frankie's so good at takedowns, just doesn't want to give him that. There's that knee again. He caught him with it, shook him right off. Oh, Very shook him nice. right off. Very nicely done by Aldo. Frankie keeps the pressure on, goes right up the middle. Who he was what? Who was the champ to make this an interim the fight? Devastating. Those are fight ending knees that all those UFC should be promoting this show more often. There is so many fight companions nowadays. UFC the should promote their own. Yeah. Round two. You know. A little bit. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're just getting started. He will. It's going to grow on quality. Maybe. It was McGregor and he left, didn't he? I believe it was McGregor and then he left. And that's why they're doing this? Or would that already be... No. Connor, right? It's, I think so. It had to be Connor because Aldo's been the champ for so damn long. It had to be Connor. Been able to land some devastating shots, particularly in that first round. And I think he's got his rhythm and feels confident now. And Frankie, because of those hard shots, is a little more hesitant about closing his gap. He just got tagged there. Yep. Oh, yeah, then he was off the Mayweather fight stuff. Okay. Okay. He tagged Aldo there with the right hand. All right, there you go. Connor at 195 versus Aldo. I'm like, yeah, and this is 200, so. All right. <laughs> uh, crazy, man. Time, time, time. Went back to his Muay Thai roots, as I mentioned before, brought in. Emerson Popcorn. What do people think about McGregor? Shoot, how can you not love that kid? Defense. But we've seen that for years from Jose Aldo, Joe. Yeah, his takedown defense is outstanding. And his ability what? To recover he went to be double down. champ, but then fought Diaz. Okay, that's it. Or did he do that? With a bit of a cut. Did he give up this belt to go up to fight Eddie? He moved to lightweight after the Mayweather. Is that what it was? Veteran. Carter Almeida. <laughs> I thought he went straight up. Oh, 
Frank, you landed that jab. What's that? So would you say it's it's good strategy to change your fighting style after a couple of fights to gain an advantage over opposition? I think you just change up your approach at, at all times. You want to be able to do a bit of everything and not get so one-dimensional, at least nowadays, especially nowadays in MMA. You got to be able to do everything. Oi. Oh, his hands up. Excuse me, by Aldo. Aldo countering very well here, Mike. Yes. Constant motion, like always, from Edgar. He thought about right the hand. takedown, but not even close. And he's sliding back nicely and yeah. landing that right hand. A little slip and rip. Oh. Good switch kick. kick. I mean, that's crazy. Frank is doing everything he can to move forward to attack. And Jose is just moving back. He's just sliding. He looks great. Look at him. Sticking that jab. Then he just keeps tying that jump knee. Look at the takedown defense by And then you can't even take him down. That's just insanity. He's kind of throwing Frankie Edgar around, Joe. Well, one of the things that we said when he came into the octagon tonight, physically he looks better than his last fight. He looks very strong. Obviously, he's been working on his strength and his conditioning at a very uh, high level for this fight. Bernard Gam brought to you by bucket, Hudson bucket, Shipping, transporting innovation. Yo, There's Mark Henry. You're crazy. Rogan will be around for a long time. Uh, yeah. You're not going nowhere. He's stopping him before he missed the shot. And that's when he's sitting there after he missed the shot. You understand what I'm saying? Just he's stopping the shot and then he's, he's cracking. The only time he's going. Start feeling hard the last 30 seconds. Don't flinch coming up. If you're going to shoot, shoot on his pivot. And don't shoot head and Shoot on the pivot, huh? Pivot. There right we go. Hand, There's a the right hand. Frankie Edgar. And there's a nice jab and a right hand by Aldo. And a good counter right by Aldo as Edgar landed a shot. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this. Yo, thank you, Iron a Giant 99. Appreciate that. Thank you. A monumental evening here in Las Vegas. Sold out. 19,000 strong. And the brand new T Mobile. Arena. Yeah, Frankie was a beast. This fight for the UFC interim featherweight championship. The former featherweight title holder, Jose Aldo. The former lightweight Oy. champion, Frankie Edgar. Frankie's landing these leg kicks. They, they don't seem to have a lot on them. And Aldo isn't respecting them. There you go, level them. change. They're just absorbing them, and they don't seem to be. Yeah, be careful because he's going to throw that damn knee again. There's a nice one. Yo, FBZ Princeton. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oi. Planting his feet yeah. and looking to throw bombs and catch Frankie as he's coming in. And again, right Good there. Good right hand, Frankie. It's almost like he wants to do to Frankie what Connor did to him. Okay, so now we definitely know. Takedown defense by Look at that takedown defense, though. Then he eats the left, though. Nice left, Frankie. Looks Joke. so fast and yeah. explosive tonight. Jose Aldo Oy. just looks so much more physically strong in this matchup than we've seen previously. Look at the distance traveled by these men. Yo, Constant get the motion, bash. How you doing? Frankie Edgar. Me, I'm doing all right. This is kind of the first time we've Take seen that. this joke. Yeah, Edgar deciding to try to... You ever express interest in commentating on a fight? I do all the time on the watch alongs. It's me commentating all of you. You are who I entertain. I mean, if they ask me to, I'll go commentate for sure. Jens, why does UFC make fighters wear only one brand name clothes now? Because that's the brand of the UFC. So you wear the UFC apparel, the right? For Edgar have been five round fights. A lot of blood coming out of the nose of Frankie now, Mike. There was a time when it was wear what you want, but now they've got a brand. Left here in the third. I speak for everyone here. We would love it if you commentated. Yeah, but then who would be here commentating? Every fight and I like doing this. For Aldo. We'll be here tomorrow, two o'clock Eastern. Frankie I'm missing my son's wrestling tournament just so I can Aldo stay here and commentate with all of you. So I'm excited. I love it. 
Frankie's gonna stay in your face. Yo, There's Crypto no Shepard, how you doing? That. I mean, for a current card? Yeah, all right. Am I gonna be at 300? That'll be up to Fight Pass. UFC Mod 2 and AK Snoo. I mean, I will see. Big Bacon, we'll see. Conor McGregor has actually never defended the title. I know, isn't that weird? No, you're good, Brock and Halo, huh? Sorry, Jens, missing Oh, you're good. Miss, miss, oh, you're good. Coming on, you go. Sliding out of the way better. And doing something in, in this movement that I appreciate you, Broken Halo. Thank you. Have not been able to do is out move him and avoid. Oh, big right hand by Aldo. And Again. Also the threat of Aldo oh, you see how Frank got him with the right? What, how excited are you for your son? And how old is he? 15. And yeah, he's been this is third year wrestling. I became a volunteer coach for the high school so I can be with him. To tie Aldo up. Those I've been I've been everywhere with him. So this will be the first time with I won't be there. Like it's really gonna yeah. Down. I'm surprised well, Mike Perry or Jake Paul down. don't want to fight me because it ain't like I'm throwing it out there that I want to fight. You know what I mean? I I, I I I'm all right right here in my in my chair. What's up, gents? How do you think you would have done against Connor? Just depends. The older gents, I'd have got knocked out, probably. Young gents, I'd have, I'd have, I don't know. I'd have taken down and beat him. What do you think of Muay Thai self-defense? I think Muay Thai is horrifyingly deadly. It's awesome. It is, I think it's great. I think it's a great self-defense because you just kick people's legs out. Just clown them a little bit. You don't even have to. You don't even really have to damage them. You just clown them, kick them in their legs a couple times. Pow! And then if you're like, "Yep, I ain't doing that again," you know what I mean? I like Muay Thai, but you know, preferably, it's a great style to learn. You know, for sure. The effect of all those punches. Yeah, I will, Jennings. Jen, you should go to Spencer's gym in North Carolina. I know, Austin. I gotta, I gotta make my way over there. I was gonna go uh, BJ Penn seminar in May. Is it in May? I try to figure it out. But again, we got weekends. I'll probably be right here. But I knew that. That's right. BJ's going over there, huh? We'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. I can't miss a BJ Penn sighting and Spencer at the same time. I gotta show up. Where's the bench? Yo, Brad, huh? thank you for the awesome show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Appreciate y'all being here. And thank you again, Fight Pass, for, for bringing this up. This is great to be able to watch some UFC 100, 200, just to get all fired up. For too close. 300, huh? Do you think that you coaching your son's high school team gives them an unfair advantage since you are one of the cherished members of the MMA community? You gotta go. Pause. An unfair advantage? What? There are better wrestling coaches than me. Does it give them an unfair advantage? No. Makes it weird. Like, they watch me, and they see people come up and get autographs, and like, and they ask me, is that weird? I go, no, it's cool. But no, huh? No, wait, I'm just standing, I'm a dad. That's it. There's no advantage. If you miss the shot, you're punching right away. How, how's BJ round, Penn doing? I think he's doing all right. So shot, he he, he says some right weird away. things. He cracks me up. He and calls that the weirdest times, shot. but I love that kid. I am not a weevil. I'm evil, Bear Tracks. You better quit playing. Don't blame me, brother. They're, the they're just... A nice uppercut by Edgar. And Yo, Woodlands, how you doing, Knight? You good? Huh? So the, everybody knows who I am. I'm, I've, I've been in this town my entire fighting career. Of course they know who I am. They think it's funny. They think it's awesome. I'll tell you, here's the biggest thing. They think I'm very loud. And that's why they were happy I got to become a coach, because I'm very loud. When it comes to my son, I'll, 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 yell, I'll, I'll yell past everybody. I'll out yell the coaches even when they're in the chairs and I'm back in the stands. I'll out yell anyone. I'm very loud. And I just run around and I just, I just have fun hanging out and meeting everybody. And, you know, and then when it's time for my son to wrestle, it's, it's, it's go time. I sit there and shadow box the entire time he's wrestling. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, you went to grad school in Honolulu? Look at you. That said, Joe, Andre Pettineris. Will Connor fight June 29th? Dan announced today that Connor fight is coming up. Well, he probably is. He probably is. Yeah, I think he believes that all those just faster, moves better. When he hit the fly knee, I don't think I was. No. Could hear a chair, right, Crypto? That's how I was. I was young. It was funny because all these people, I had to apologize. I had like this whole group of kids, this whole group of this family was sitting there, you know, in the stands, and I was yelling down. I said, man, I'm sorry I'm so loud. I'm like, no, this is awesome. Like, what I go, you're literally commentating the whole match, and the best part is, is he's actually listening to you. Because I would say something, and he'd look up at me. And like, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think they didn't know who I was, you know. And they just thought, "Dang, he's not just yelling. Just go get him!" I was literally commentating the whole thing. Trying to get all those open. I do. Yeah, Lucky Luciano. I shadow box while he wrestles. I stand there, just, I just move. I'm just, I can't help it. I can't sit still. Uh, the blue coaches, Frankie Edgar's corner. Hey, Jen. It says Justin versus Max is canceled. What? No, huh? Why would it be canceled? What? Did you ever get in a trash talk fight? Yes, Sunset. a couple times. Sunset. That's not true, right? Sunset. Sunset. UFC Mod 2? Does your son see Mod MMA in his future? No. Again. Striking coach for Frankie Edgar. He's going to be an engineer. I don't know what he's yelling out because they develop these names for things. Codes for techniques and he changes. They're trying to say what Gaethje and Holloway. There's a nice left hook by Frankie. It said that when I looked it up too. Really? I'm not. I don't think anybody would ever make fun of Frankie. Good pace throughout this entire matchup thus far. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, JD. I don't know. We got to figure it out YouTube. You gotta let me know. Someone's gotta get on that Google and let me know. Nothing about it on Sure Dog. All right. Oh, he shots though. I'm currently a football coach. I got my coaching voice coaching to day day brackets, coaching youth wrestling. There you go. And PA, oh, you don't play around. PA wrestling's no joke. Look at the numbers, head strikes. About 50% efficient and a lot of blood yeah, I mean, whatever my son does, he loves math. He's like, he's a math, he's, he, math is his thing. So who knows, whatever he wants to do in life, man, it's, it's him. And Aldo landed a right hand on him and then a left. Aldo's just looking at capitalizing the movement of Edgar and catch him coming in. This Frankie just can't close it. Aldo's just doing a great job of sliding, just moving backwards. And then Frankie tries to step back. Look, see how he just that left out of the way. He can left come back with that look, and he'll come back with that left hand. Minnesota wrestling, I love it, man. I love it. No, Minnesota's great wrestling. Great wrestling. Like you said, Joe. I, I'm, I'm in Iowa, so obviously Illinois wrestling. But I'm just saying, when it comes to Pennsylvania, why I said it because of the uh, Pennsylvania, the fox catchers growing up. That's what I always knew against when I wrestled in Washington. And so like that with national stuff, it was the uh, fox catchers. Answer. Against the answer, Frankie Edgar. Yeah, a loss like the Conor McGregor fight could have been the best thing for him. And yes, right, had, Squire? All those footwork is incredible. In and out, and then the way he can plant and come back and, and throw. He's still got some time. 20 left in this round, and one more round to go. And he's got to make some dramatic happen. How quick he hit that jab. He's running. But for Frankie... He's still got some time. Have I talked to you, Riley? Right, I don't think so. No. This round and one more round to go. And he's got to make. See right there. He blocked with his right and fired his fired his left jab. I didn't see anything that said it was canceled. Okay, Becca Boo, thank you. Time. Watch. This is in. I want to try to pause right on it. Oh. Boom. You see that? My man literally blocked the kick. Bow and fired a jab at the same time. It, that's the one thing I like about Jose Aldo is he sees everything. Stays right in the pocket. Dramatic happened, he got tagged there. 
He's running in, and Aldo's doing a great job of sliding back. Look at that. Then see how fast he throws up that knee every time, which is the threat why Frankie won't shoot from that distance without trying to tie it up with his hands. But every time he tries to use his hands, he's getting popped to that jab, or, then, or he dumps, or Jose dips and comes back with the hook. Catching the Just barely missed with that knee. I saw a quick facial expression. It's all net talk. Thank you, Jimmy. From Frankie Edgar when he couldn't land that last combination, Joe. Kind of what we were talking about. All right, just right here. Now watch this. That. Right there. Watch him spin this. Facial expression of disappointment. Here it comes. Right here. Boom. Plants. And as soon as that as soon as that leg plants, depending on where Frankie was, see you swing the door out, boom, and that back leg plants, you can fire that right hand, or for me it would be the left. But see, then he's like, all right, he didn't throw, he didn't follow around behind me, so he, he backed out. So what happens is when you go to dip, right, boom, and then you move, and now I'm like, oh, where'd he go? And I go to turn, you've already swung, and then planted, and boom, fired that left hand, but Frankie went back, which so he didn't get to throw it. That last combination, Joe, kind of what we were talking about. Look at that. I love this. Extremely frustrating. For the former lightweight champ. Can I have the bucket? Well, I'm actually. Oh, my, my, my wrestling coach on the same team playing as Edgar. He's a oh, dude, look at him. He's a bro. What I'm saying is four punches. I need the go goes against. You follow what I'm saying, kid? Go goes against. Finish off. It's going right down to the right side of the Well, that's it, Granny. The way they pop, pop, and you step off, and then they, you end up. When you can stay ahead of them. Oh, it's all Reddit chat talk? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Pop, 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 swing the corner, then they follow behind. Boom, boom, boom. That's why you can stay ahead of somebody when you start bringing in your circling and movement, and then they fall behind you. Bang, bang, bang. Slip underneath. Boom. And then you want to make sure you keep those feet underneath you all the time. Man, look at the intensity. From Andre Pettineris. Picks of the fights at 300. Oh, we got it. We, look, we'll be back. We'll be on the streams, man. We got, we'll be back here doing it. Um, We got a busy week. Wednesday. I vote Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So like that. And then we'll be on the, the, the Twitch stream for the Tough Tuesday. And so we'll be all week. We got it. Each fight. Will I ever do an exhibition Fight fight? I don't think so. One click to vote on how you're scoring the fight. See all of the results live. Find out how your vote stacks up. Fifth, Fifth round, though. That's the round. biggest thing. Look at their movement for five rounds. Look how much they're still moving. Hit. Now he kicks. That was a highly emotional Andre Pennaneris. It certainly was. And this is well, fight, fight pass was Wednesday. Friday and Saturday. I don't think that I believe that's what he is. In the judge's hands. And Frankie has this coming up week. Fantastic fifth round finishes. But again, we should point to all those conditioning. He looks hey, this is fight pass year. on this one, show. They wanted us to watch. That's why they said it was cool. They brought up something different today. Like, let's watch some 100 and 200 and ready for 300, which is on it, which is coming up. So. Everybody's getting excited for 300. Nasty left hand there by Aldo. Good kick by Frankie. James, you ever heard of a fighter named from, from Bellevue, Idaho? I. Oh, high kick by Aldo. How old is he? The power he possesses. Because you talk about Lee and Lowell Anderson. I believe it was Lee and Lowell Anderson. Makes every they were up there like very I was in Boise, but in what was that ball. place they lived at up there? Time at or are you talking about somebody now? It's gone the distance seven times. Aldo caught him with the left hand there. Frankie seven, three, and one. In fights to go 25 minutes. Yo, ATK Gaming with the raid. Much love and appreciation, ATK. Just over three on the clock. Oh, good right hand by Aldo again. But he is planting and bombing on that shot. Deep in this championship fight. And officially, Joe now. Frankie Look at him still Edgar moving, though. Is the first fighter 
in UFC That's one history. thing, Brandon. You got to let me know if that's who it is. But is that who I'm talking about? Man, where was it they lived at up there in Idaho? Fairfield at night. Is that? Is that my dad? Oh, oi. I was in Boise, Idaho, Any for a while, about the for about five years. And mental state of I like the canvas. Are they going to bring it back again? Like it's got to, it's coming back on every one of them, right? We're yeah, here with you for we're here with you for three hundred. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Sensational in this fight. Very relaxed. And again, this is against a very very dangerous. I like this. Skillful challenge. Oh. And Frankie Edgar. A Frankie Edgar who's been on a roll. Frankie Edgar, who hasn't lost since they first fought back in 2013. Not only has he not lost, he hasn't lost many rounds. Yeah. He Yo, back, the, sack and crack. Thank you very much. I love this stream, too. Glad right. to have you all here, as always. Much love and appreciation. I think it's, you should say it that way. I think you should say it's one of the best performances. Right, UFC Fight, fight Pass. Year. UFC it's 300, watch along. We haven't seen the oh, it goes upstairs. There you go. Oh, true. Jose cracked him with that right hand, though. What? Well, Aldo just carries so much more consequence with his shots. Which one of them does? Commentator sucks. Huh? Goldie and Rogan are awesome. What are you talking about? When he's dropping them in on Frankie, they're hurting. And Frankie's punches and his kicks are sort of just kind of reaching Aldo and landing, but they don't seem to have the same kind of impact. One minute remains in this fight. Ooh, look at him move the out champion, of the way. And Conor McGregor in the first row, watching very closely. Brand, yeah, so it's yeah, so that's the one, right? That's who it is. And his brother's Lowell. Lee and Lowell Anderson. Lowell and Lee Anderson. Sold out. 19,000 in attendance. UFC 200. <laughs> ah, looking for that knee late. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's very dangerous for Frankie to move in on this guy. He's doing such a good job of countering, and he is looking for those. Yo, bottom feet, I'm having a great one. Thank you very much. The face and that right hand as well. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I haven't been back to Boise in so long. I would, or up that knees. way. It's been a minute, but Lowell used to train. Lowell was one of the first black belts under Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Championship fight. Hey! And they pull the distance. Aldo and Edgar fight the full 25 minutes once again. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. There you go, Frankie. Here's an early shot by Frankie Edgar. Here's a right uppercut by Edgar. Ooh, missing that right, though. Missing that right. I like that lead hook. Very nice. Look at that. He did that punch many times in this fight. There's a right hand by Aldo and slides away from the counters. Some devastating knees to the body as well in this fight. Just an excellent performance by Aldo. Don't forget. Is that me, Jimmy? No, I haven't. Follow us on Twitter. Click. And see, follow us see on the fan what? voting is pretty unique. I haven't, I've been seven percent. No, I've been busy doing these. We'll bring a belt back to years. Brazil, the interim championship at 145. Let's go. I liked it. Follow not bad, not bad. UFC on Twitter. All right, it's follow at Metro PCS and retweet to win. Authentic items straight from tonight's fights. Official rules at MetroPCS.com. He trained what? UFC. He trained a high school UFC. friend of mine that fought. Ladies and UFC. gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 49 46, and 48 47 for the winner by unanimous decision. And now. The UFC interim featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, all right. Now.
good evening. What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. The biggest, baddest fight card in UFC history, UFC 200. But what my story will be is um, a guy who was brought to his knees. And a guy I think they probably right, do. A guy who changed, got his life together, and became even more extraordinary. Sober and truth is his history dictates and determines that the same thing is going to happen. This kid will not change. He will not He will not change. He's the same guy, and he will continue to f*** up. The UFC organization was notified tonight that the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has informed John Jones of a potential anti-doping policy violation, and therefore the fight has been removed from the fight card. I really don't know exactly how to explain how I'm feeling right now. More than, more than anything, just really disappointed. I'm just here to fight. And a fight he will get. Oh! Oh. Anderson Silva answers the bell. Daniel Cormier happy to sign on the dotted line. We've got a fight. Anderson Silva stepping in for John Jones. That's an even bigger fight for me. I think it's more exciting. This is the most dominant fighter of all time. Oh, goodness. And it shows how much confidence he has in his ability that he's willing to Why step don't I remember this? on short notice and fight such a dangerous guy in Daniel Cormier. I mean, I cannot even explain how happy I am about this fight. I know Anderson's going to bring it, and I know I'm going to bring it. Oh. Eu gosto. Tem uma coisa que eu amo fazer, lutar. I get to compete against I did, Aiden. I, Aiden, I forgot. And try and impose my dominance on him. Ah, para as pessoas, eu não quero provar absolutamente nada. É, eu quero me, me testar. I've reshifted my focus. Oh. It is solely on Anderson Silva, and I am happy to be fighting him. Look at that throw. Look at lob people. Right now. DC. <laughs> DC. <laughs> Oh, DC, come on now. All right. Reach advantage. Look at Anderson. 37 and 41. 37 years old, 5'11, 206. What? 41, 6, 2, 100. What? Anderson was, yeah, he was something, wasn't he? He was something. DC though. No cut at all. 198.5 once again, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 33 wins. I know, Seven right? Losses, one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall. That'd be pretty cool. At 198 and one half James, pounds. you best, my bro. Fighting Love and appreciation, Mr. Rat 21. Thank you very much. The former UFC I'm older now, bro. These guys. Ah, we're Anderson, at this point. The spider. That's what I'm with you, Torcor. I don't remember this fight. I'm not lying to you. I don't know why I don't remember this fight, but I don't remember this fight. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. Anderson replaced Bones. I get it, but I don't remember. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at two hundred six pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the former Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix Champion and the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Champion, Daniel DC. He's champ, champ though. He's champ, champ. What's your thoughts on my guy Tom Aspinall? Aspinall is something. Hey, all BS aside, Aspinall, Aspinall is something. Like he, he's he's very impressive. I psh, man, I'm telling you what, I like him. Yeah, Aspinall, he's something. He is something. Anderson Silva. Here we go. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Bud Light. It's just his all around movement for his size. You just wouldn't believe he's that big because he moves so well. The spider. He's in the yellow trunks, the Brazilian colors, DC in the dark trunks. Now, conventional wisdom would say that a guy like Anderson taking a fight like this on two days notice is not in the kind of shape he's going to need to be to grind it out with Daniel Cormier for five rounds. 
He's taking on. He took it on fairly short notice. Close the show early. Absolutely. And DC Joe knows that he's going to try to get inside on Anderson early and embrace the ground. There it is. Now we're wrestling. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Anderson Silva does not want to carry Daniel Cormier. He did this on two days' Daniel notice. That's sick. I mean, you gotta Daniel give, you gotta love Anderson for that. Like, posture, and it's you have to love him for that. Like, yeah, I'll step in and fight him. I want to make Especially sure he still gets the fight on 200. Like I'll jump in. Come on. Anderson trying to set up the right arm bar, throwing those legs up. Some punches here on the yeah, he's, he's, he's champ champ at this point. I believe he has two belts. Anderson, 3-0 at 205. The eye poke. <laughs> I should correct myself. Stop this it. Three round Stop fight, it. Five round fight. Even so, two Still days notice, like this, yeah. yeah. Three rounds. Incredibly difficult for Anderson. Whereas Anderson was supposed to fight in his hometown of Kirtan. Very much He's not his weight there. either. Very true, very true. Right before he's going to get on the plane, ended up having his gallbladder removed. He's getting stacked here by Daniel. And big punches are going to come. And Daniel can control his position here. And get that Tom right Aspinall could be considered the goat right of heavyweights. I don't, so I'm 100% think he can absolutely. I don't know who's going to beat him. That dude is a savage. Right Aspinall's no joke, man. Huh? Pulver, OG of the Kings. He's a good man. Much yeah, love. I appreciate it. Tricky trick. Thank you. Aspinall is that good. He's very, very, very good. And he's young. And he's just getting started. And he's big. Like, he, do, he moves so well for, for his weight, Aspinall does, that you don't realize that he's literally like 260 some odd pounds. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. He's massive. But the way he looks and the way he moves, you would never think it. You're like, oh, he's 220. <laughs> He's 225. You know what I mean? He would rather not get stood up. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be Bone Jones, though. He's utilizing the lockdown on the right leg. See how he's elevating you know I mean? But he ain't beating no Bone. Well, I can't do that. I can't go against Bones. Just can't do it. He's taking that leg out of play and taking that side. Bones, that's my guy. Anderson won the belt in his second UFC fight. His reign as champion was nearly seven years long. His reign as champion, seven years long. DC. Anderson trying to avoid too much damage here early. All DC so far. Yo, paradoxic. Paradoxic, please. With the prime sub, much love and appreciation. All subs go to support AK Snooze's new jacket. He's going to get a suit and tie. A, a, a jacket and tie. A shirt and tie, sorry. He's going to get a dress shirt and a tie. Don't forget, following our pay per view. I was watching around here. I see all these people with dress shirts. They had ties on. He's going to get AK Snooze a shirt and a tie. Post fight show. For our fans in Canada, flip over to TSN. Anderson has done a pretty good job defensively up yeah. to this point. And Daniel has gotten some shots in, but a lot of them have been partially blocked. And Anderson has done a good job of controlling his posture. Well, I mean, he's got his hand over his mouth now, control the breathing. Yes, and the big key to this position. You don't like the color really of the octa? I do like this, and I hope they do it again. Down. But Daniel's gotten some. Is this against News Will? I don't think he realized it, yes. We've seen so many magnificent. In all reality, it goes and support the stream, 100%. But every single one of them, Joe, can fight on the ground. They all bring to the octagon that black belt in jiu-jitsu. Jin is crushing them here, just sort of pressuring them, making them carry his weight. But nothing particularly damaging. But I got so Tom far. getting the win. I'm with you. Except I'm with you. I just. Cardio. We'll yeah, see. So we'll see. I mean, I can see Aspinall doing it, but again, Bones is, Bones is different. He's different. What? Do you think they can change the glove style? For sure, if they want to. I mean, it's up to the UFC. They come up with something different. 
They always change up the gloves, you know, if they want. Use your knees when he's coming in. You can't try to exchange hands with him. Don't let him get too close. Everybody wants to be champ, champ, champ. I know, I know. Move a little bit more. Silva 5 and 0 oh in three round fights inside the octagon. Who was I just talking about that I was like they, they could be, they could do it. Man, I can't remember. Oh my. Goes high with the head kick. Oh, oh big right oh, hand, big right hand. Expect to see Anderson try to put on a show here. No, nah, I was talking about somebody show, being. But a show to finish the fight. Pajeda's trying to. Pajeda's trying to. Maybe not all at the same time, but he's about to try to win this damn thing at three weights. Might as well flip him up to heavyweight real quick. Beautiful grappling by DC. He's going to trap him here. He's looking to step over. He got caught in. Half guard on the way. Cormier has owned this fight. All about top position. Yeah, Matt. No, he was. Joey, you pointed out but Anderson, I'm saying. Kind of damage, but that could be a guy that wins three weight classes. Pajeda. Daniel's weight yep. is exhausting. DC's Jamal comes back and beats pass. him, then let him go up to heavyweight and try it there. Anderson's just holding on to him here. DC's got to get that right leg free. Every time Anderson elevates that leg, it throws DC's balance off, but Daniel's done a great job of maintaining top position. But Anderson, you know, every time he does that, you see that lockdown has been very effective here. And even though DC is still kind of beating him up, oh. there's nothing particularly devastating going on. Styles make fights. Yeah, and I wouldn't necessarily, yeah, he'd have Daniel to do that for that way. Anderson's I'm just saying winning Anderson's at three different weight classes is enough. That That'd way. be cool That's anyway. Like Daniel just dropped those hammer fists on him. He has that yeah, no, I'm, I'm, right I'm yeah, I can't wait for Jamal. He's trying to keep sneaking around the side. And then Daniel became much more active when he realized he was in a bad position. Here it is again. If he can get that right leg free. Look at DC just controlling the. That uh, man, he's just controlling he's Anderson. Give me that. Side. Give me that side. Look at that. Give now, me that. Let me get that ground. half guard. We're just going to hang out for a little bit. The style that Cormier utilizes is bad for Anderson Silva, especially on short notice. Yo, what yeah. up, Foon from Uruguay? How you, how you do? Huh? This lockdown, there's two options. He can try to sneak around. Left, Practice for free, you might right. want to go up there. But hey, tell him you'll clean the mats. Just a bigger, stronger, you know, tell him you'll tell him you'll do and something like that. Time he goes to make a move, Daniel corrects and winds up on top. Try to work for a membership. A mountain on you. Hmm. you just can't shake it. Damn, elbows, he just controlled him. Hard, short elbows. And it's about and this moment DC realized, path, yeah, man. I mean, now Anderson's here. like, he's too heavy. <laughs> this is a guy who, this is, when they were you know, standing, he's not too heavy. He right now, he's way too heavy. Way too heavy. He's trying to hang in. Look at DC. He's got that. The he's fans. just sitting there holding on to that leg, That's loving it. Me. Loving it. It's like a leg ride. And oh, John I can't believe who did this. And who stood him up? Big John. Let's go. It took him a while to stand up at the end of round one. Boy, time Superman. Let himself be taken down again. That's the thing, though. Two days notice, and you're gonna wrestle with him. Yeah, you know what I mean. And don't forget, Daniel Cormier's striking has improved exponentially over the years. Oh, that was a good knee. God will dip his head to the right. Anderson with the left. 
Cormier oh. misses. Here we go. Good kick to the body by Anderson. Careful what game you play with the spider. Oh, they're booing? Now they what? Now they booing. As we do, Joe, I think there's a part of him that Couture was the first ever, was, was the first double champ. Two weights a little while here. Just having both belts. Well, I could certainly see him wanting to test his skills, but yep. that is the most dangerous yeah, exactly. game. Exactly. Exactly. Playing with fire for sure. Yeah, handle. Yeah. yeah. You're going to make history tonight. Blue <laughs> birds. It's a blue birds. He's got nothing. UFC 200. Tate versus Nunez. Sponsored by Bud Light. Kamikaze Soldier with 30 months. Much love and appreciation. Yeah! All self go support AK Snooze, uh, new shirt and tie. Yes! Yes! T.Y. Did they, did they just say Tate and Nunez? For Anderson. Me, I might be the same size as Anderson right now. I'm 186. I think I was 186, 185 the other day. I'll get on a scale and find out later. I'm in the low 80, 180s. Nice hand. There you go, DC. Anderson looking for that elbow. Me. Nice They are just booing on these takedowns. Booing. Well, I don't know. We got somebody who about they about to fight for it. I'm not doing no spoilers. Call out Anderson for a boxing match. And he's at top position. And really, no back and forth clinch game to try to exhaust his gas tank. Anderson keeps going to that lockdown on the right leg of Daniel Cormier, and it's made ground and pound much more difficult for Cormier. It's been good for him defensively, but not offensively. And Daniel's just kind of squashing his head here, keeping the weight on him, cutting off his breathing. But the crowd keeps booing. I'm marinating on this. I'm marinating on this. And wrestlers know how to make heavy, even heavy. F Society, how you do? Daniel Cormier is great at smothering his opponent. Smothering. Yeah, his top game is excellent. No, that's it, yes. I didn't think about it. I like it. They keep adding up for Daniel Cormier. Nearly 130 total strikes. To the body. Dennis would have to figure out how to stay this size and get in shape <laughs> with all that with all that work all that cardio and everything I'd have to be doing I don't know if I could make that's what I'm sitting going I don't think I could be I don't think I could I would end up being like 155 pounds this is me just lifting and walking but yeah that'd be cool I'm in I like it we'll see. I'm with you I'm learning about this fight too Actually, I really, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, right. Cormier 
Throwing down consistent strikes now. This right here, sitting on that leg. Yeah, Squire, sitting on that leg going half guard. Hey. Right, but I like that, I like that John stands it up. Two minutes, now less than two, remain in this fight. And again, great thing when it comes to taking this fight on two days' notice. Go after him and make him wrestle with you. Wear him out. Ooh, UFC 2. Is there a kick up the middle coming? Leg against Vitor Belfort. Or a knee. Under 90 seconds. Man, we're the same age, too. I didn't think about it. I'm in. Anderson is looking for that one opening. One oh. minute remains. Anderson's looking for that opening, but he's got to take some chances. Yeah. I mean, he is clearly looking for DC was shot. light heavyweight and heavyweight. Yeah. That might be the kick up the middle. We've seen it before. Chasing down Cormier. Swing and a miss by DC. Good oh. kick to the body. Oh, Ooh, liver. Liver. You see his face? Swing and a miss by DC. Look at liver. Uh, liver. Good kick to the body. He hurt 30 seconds. Daniels hurt. Swarming him. Knee by Silva. 20 seconds. Clinch. Clinch it up. Oh, that's they awesome. That's awesome. Two year old niece, she was watching, she was, she saw me watch UFC 299 and immediately caught her attention. Love it. Great job. Two days notice for the greatest of all time. Two days notice. Man is a real fighter. Both men. Yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. That was all right, though. Cormier. Had liver shot, though. Dad. Cormier, Bud Light, raised one to right now. There we see it. Yeah, that's down. why you don't stand up Danderson, pretty much. Completed by Daniel Cormier. Finally got your Hall of Fame There's auto card, so dope, champ. My buddy got your old pride card. You look so young. Hey, oh, that's crazy. Really Ooh, that elbow right there. You see that? Cormier. No, that's very cool, Shorty. Awesome. Pretty awesome. Good job defensively by Look at that. Watch his elbow come straight up. Avoiding really big shots. Hoof. I like it. I like it. There's Silva trying to Throw open a jab, up some shots, down but he gets taken down again. Come back up. Really, his best success was in the third. Boom! Right there. That, that was just his to toes. Look at that. See it was right just there. his toes. DC tried not to react to it, but that hurt. that front kick to the body. See it right there. And even he, see, even he did the gas face. Yeah. DC tried not to react to it, but that hurt him. This happens. Cormier and Silva. Then an eye rig. Decision. The tab. You by Metro PCS and for a piece of UFC 200 history. Oh, DC was Metro something. PCS and it's cool to see DC to fight. Off tend to guide him straight from tonight's fights. Official rules at Metro PCS. All three judges score this contest 30 26 for the winner by United. They have a 10 8 round in that thing. Unanimous decision, Daniel DC Paul. I don't understand why they would boo him, though. Why you got to boo him? That was a good fight. He just, he's dominant. He's dominant. All right, now. Get very interesting. Oh, and by the way, by the way, for just under $10 a month, you can get UFC Fight Pass. LFA 181 about to go is live. Got live fights going on right now on Fight Pass. Live fights going on right now on Fight Pass. Just saying. Interesting. 
Misha Tate in the Holly home fight came in with an unbelievable game plan. She got the neck in the second round, took her back, started to put the choke in, and lost it. When she got the choke in the fifth round, she didn't let go. When the chips are down, when all is on the line, Misha Tate delivered. Misha looking to lock it in. I thought it had to be like a pit bull on a bone. She wasn't she got it. that one. Whoa, Misha Tate. She put her to sleep. Misha Tate has dominated. She's the number one female badass out there. Misha will go in and she will fight to the finish. She is the most oh. dangerous woman in the world other than Ronda Rousey. Misha Tate is the undisputed women's bantamweight champion of the world. And now she will have the opportunity to defend her title against one of the most dangerous female bantamweight fighters on earth. Amanda Nunes has oh. some serious power. Amanda Nunes looks better every time she fights her stand up or groundwork. Nunes is a beast. Nunes has done it! I have all the tools to beat you, Misha. I'm really excited about this fight because Amanda Nunes truly does believe she can beat Misha Tate and become what? champion. What? You said they fed her Nobody to Nunes. Needs to beat Misha. I mean, fed her to Nunes. She's the champ. It's, it's, you know what I mean? What do you think about young fighters like Raul Rosas fighting? Yo, it's crazy, man. 30 year old. What do you mean? 30 year old. He's got to fight. That's what happens when in the UFC you fight everybody. You, you, you fighting at that league, you got to fight them all. You know what I'm saying? It happens. But I'm going to prove his body is wrong. Amanda is just another faceless woman that's standing in front of another goal of mine, and I have everything that I need to beat her already. I think Misha Tate is a great champion. She can take a lot of damage and still move on in the fight. Yeah, I can take damage and I can come back for you and still beat you. Oh, I we're going to find out. We shall find out what happens here. And she can be broken. And I think I'm the woman to break her. Rhonda have her time. And Holly have her time. Misha have her time. I think now is my time. Ooh, Diego Lopez. And gonna take the belt. In my mind, I still have a lot to accomplish. This fight is going to prove, again, why I am the champion and why I'm the best in the world. All right, let's see this. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Misha Tate, the champion. One year, the elder of the Brazilian challenger, who is two inches taller. And will have Nobody knows what happens here. Reach advantage. Here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Bud Light. Raise one to one right it's now. It's Misha's quote that Thanks stayed with me about Senate Amanda Nunes punching cart, huh? Martell, Executive Director Bob Bennett. Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, Pat Lundball, and Michonne Martin. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Adelaide Bird, Chris Lee, and Jeff Mullen. This is our first and time watching begins, this. First time watching this. First time, everybody. We, we're team. live here. We haven't never seen this. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light. Raise one to one right now. Metro they put Yuri number two on prelims over unranked Bo Nickel because it's Bo Nickel. That's why. Bo Nickel Day. Period. Bo Nickel Day. Just let it go. Embrace it. And now, <laughs> this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. He's even got Hams out running from him. Let's from go! Sold out T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Not even a foot stop. Not even a foot stop. I know it can. <laughs> I thought you were busy doing something. Oh, never mind. You are back. He just typed that. A striker. Holding professional record. Eight wins, four losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weigh in. NBK, what up, man? How you doing, Stel? Out of Miami, Florida. By way of Yo, JDM, you know I am. Yes, I am. I'm tired of that one zombie bums like this. All right, hey man, we'll have Hamza and Bo going for the belts here soon enough, won't we? She said, man, it hits like a, it's like a, oh, hey. 
Sports Awards, holding professional record. 18 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 134 and 1 half pounds. Fighting at Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the former Strike Force Bantamweight Champion and the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight Very, very true. Not if Whitaker derails Hamzad's hype train. Yes, very true. Very true. The Hamzad fight chain. All right, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You're gonna have a clean fight. Touch gloves and let's do this. Misha Tate. We have a live LFA going on too right now on Fight Pass. Is the champion. Amanda Nunez is the challenger. And tonight, the 10th main event for the women who compete in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Back to back title fights. This one at 135. I like it. I like it. Here we go. Here we go. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. Nunez in the Brazilian colors. Black shorts and top for Misha Tate. Ooh, we've been live for 420. Nunez is a very difficult opponent. She has very fast, very powerful strikes. There's a nice leg kick. And on the ground, she has a very high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Very slick on the ground, very strong. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of strategy Misha takes. See what I mean, know about those fingers? I mean, I'm not saying that Misha won't put them up. But see how those fingers are sitting out there? Amanda Nunes, we talked a bit about all the stoppages. She has ended 11 of her 12 wins. She tied him up. What if he got caught off guard? Oops! She's got a lot of snap to her punches yep. and kicks explodes, moves in very quickly. If there has been any critique of her in the past, it's been that she tends to fade in the later rounds. Partaking what? Take down. Yeah, nice takedown. Nice takedown. Nice take down. I cannot say takeover. such things, but I will not and demonize started training that, karate at age seven. that plant. Misha started wrestling at a young age. And she utilized those two But it's not something that I can condone for. It is not legal in this area. That she so but I will not demonize. For so many years against Holly Holm. Another thing to take into consideration is how many times Misha Tate has fought five rounds. Misha Tate has been there, done that. And this will be a... Period of time, what up? Oh, wait, drive, 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 drive. No, can do hip. Hip, good roll through. There's a go. Oh! Woo! Did she time that? Hey, hey. Very first career. Missed an illegal knee. And Misha was still down. Oh, nice jab with and that nice jab. Right hand. And Another nice right, right hand. hand. She's stunned with that one, Mike. Absolutely. Jay, you're going to go to the UFC oh, in St. Nice Louis? Jam. Probably not. I'll probably sit right here commentating it. This is what we're talking about. I'm going to be doing the watch on. Y'all going to be here in the watch on tomorrow? 3 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. Eastern. Look at this. Okay. Boom. Boom. Right there. That right hand. Boom. Boom. Okay, this is when she realized, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Nunez. She slipped, but still delivers. Misha is retreating. That right there. That's. Misha is retreating. Look at that right there. Looking down at the floor and just throwing something out there. Off balance, the whole nine. Boom. And she's just, look at her. Mm, mm, mm. Rips her with that right hand. She got tagged. Yeah. She got hurt bad. Oh. oh my. She's, oh. Bad. she's in big, big, big trouble. Trying to finish her here. Misha's trying to gut it out. But she's in trouble, Mike. And she needs a knee. And plenty of time to go here. 2.20 on the clock. More punishment. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Look how, look how fast she did this. Misha Tate is busted up. Oh. That one, two, right down the pipe. She's not close enough. She's not even seen it. And a man in new lot of blood, Mike. Feels the belt around her waist. Oh. Man has got it back here. 
Nisha's got to use really good defense here, but this might be the best thing for oh. her. She needs a hammer fist, though. Big shots by the Lioness. Huge first round for the Brazilian. She's got her back. She's got one hook in. Trying to get a choke. Shot. She's got the choke. Hit it's it. all over. Amanda Nunes wow. is the first female Brazilian UFC champion. Wow. wow. Unbelievable. What a dominant victory by Amanda Nunes. She busted Misha Tate up and finished her off and barely took any damage in the process. It was a beautiful performance by Amanda. And everything that we had said about her potential and where her strengths lie, that's exactly what she showed. Nasty snapping punches and kicks. Beautiful movement. I didn't recall. Yeah, I thought they fought more. I didn't realize she did all that to her literally in, the, for, in one round. One round. Nasty ground and pound and the, the black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that we talked about. She hurt her with that very first jab, Joe. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. What a crazy, crazy division this This round. shot right here. Look at her eyes just looking right at her. Uh, Boom, look at that right uh, hand. Stunned her with that. Nunez moves in for the kill. Boom. There's another right hand. And Misha was on full survival mode here. And Amanda just sticking her. That one right there. Overswings that left. Overswings that left. Stuck sideways and just gets just ripped with the right. Sticking her with that jab. Right hand over oh. the top. Had her in all sorts of trouble here. Just busting her up. Misha's legs gave out. And now Amanda takes her back. Sinks that arm under and surprisingly, the she goes and submits and gentlemen, her. Is a wrap. You know what I mean? Submitted her, which is... Bantamweight champion. Spectacular performance by Amanda Nunes. And the celebration begins. Amanda Nunes, Brazil's first female champion. Time for our official decision brought to you by Metro PCS. For a piece of UFC 200 history, slash UFC... Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission Dang. due to a rear naked choke. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the What a moment. There you go. There you go. Dude, that was sick. That actually was pretty sweet. That's pretty sick. And that, and that, my friends, was 100 and 200. Knowing that this coming up week, we're going to be doing a lot of different things on the stream for, um, I know we got Wednesday, we'll be watching undercard fights of fighters fighting. And Saturday's pay-per-view fight. Friday, main card fights of fighters fighting. And Saturday's pay-per-view fights. Huh? What's the feeling when they put that belt on you? It's insane. It, it's, it's not real. Like I said, I, it, it really, it don't hit till later. It'll, later on. Like, like I said, it slept next to me. I woke up and had a bad dream. I woke up and thought I had a bad dream. I was like, I woke up and I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, this was a dream. Like, it was a dream. And then I looked over next to me. Because it was on the pillow, right? And of course, I slept with my belt. And I looked over the next to me. I'm like, I can't believe I did. I, I, I just sat there and go, oh, my God, it's here. And I just looked at it. And I started. And then I finally, for my first ever, I started crying like, I can't believe I did it. I go, I can't believe I actually won. I can't believe I did. But when I first woke up, I woke up in a panic. And I thought, oh, my God, this was all a dream. It didn't happen. This is just a dream. And when I found that, when I looked over and seen that belt, I was like, and then it just, then it hit. And I was like, oh, man, it was, it was crazy. It, it, was, it was something. You know what I'm saying? Um, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have the watch along, watching the fights. Uh, make sure you come in and join and hang out and spend time with me. Either way, as always, thank you all so much for your time, man. You could have been anywhere in the world, but the fact you were in here spending your time with me, 
We love you. We appreciate you. It means the world. Thank you. Y'all with the bits. Loving what you do and the mods for us. Much love and appreciate. Thank you very much, Chad. Time for the bit. I appreciate you. All subs do go to support Jens and Snoo. So that means a lot. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, and as always, man, I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. And then 300. 300! It's going to be nuts, right? All right, man. Um, I don't think there's no rage or anything like that. So our time is gone. Where did it go? It's always fast when you want it slow. We had some fun, just you and I, but now I must wave bye-bye. We played some games. We sang a song. I'm sorry so sad. You can't come along, but you can come back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern. UFC Fight Pass. YouTube. Twitch, UFC. Love you. Appreciate you. Y'all be real. Y'all be good. Y'all be real good. We'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? What the hell is this? Oh, pfft.